Hello, everybody. We're back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild. I hope you're all doing amazing. We're going to be doing some bear grinding today. Howdy, Walking Dead edits. Hey, Rig. Hey, Nils. We got Eli. We got Mono Sun Up. We got uh, Miss Brown. We got Mod Lover. We got Blue. We got Hunter. We got Camden. We got Pirate. We got Oscar. We got Braden. We got Connor. We got Penn. How's everybody doing? Hope you're all doing good. Holy. Let's hope the bears cooperate today, eh? Let's hope that we have uh, bears that actually want to cooperate today. And uh, hopefully that will give us a great one today. That'd be lovely. Should you get Rancho or Rev on Thule? Oh, Rev on Thule easily, man. Rev on Thule is so much better than Rancho in my opinion. It's just such a unique map with so many species and hunting styles you don't really do too much in other places. Also, guys, uh, I went for the legendary fish in uh, the angler today. So there's going to be a video catching the legendary catfish, Big Larry, very, very soon. On lighter tackle than what's recommended as well. So... Stay tuned for that. It's going to be a wild video. Big Larry's no joke, man. I spent almost a half hour reeling him in. That gives you guys any idea of how crazy it was. So it should be a pretty wild video. Should go, uh, should go up tomorrow. Probably as a second video, like later in the day. There we go. Three bears. Oh my gosh, there's three bears there. There we go, we got them all. We're at 699, by the way. Yep, I fought Big Larry for almost 30 minutes. It was insanity. All because I didn't have the best rod and reel possible. Oh, they're always lurking, uh, Rig. They're always lurking. They're lurking in the shadows, waiting for somebody to break the rules so they can pounce. Oh no, A-Rod, here we go again. Here we go again, man. Told you, Tony's right there. I told you that there'd be at least one lurking, and there's Tony. What map am I on? This is Silver Ridge Peaks. Hey, Johnny, how's it going? See, Tony and Johnny are here. A six, a five, a seven. Yeah, exactly, Blue. They're always here. They're always here, man. They're just uh, silent sometimes. Hey, Braxton, it's going good. I hope your day's going good as well. Hey, Keegan, how's it going? You know what we haven't seen in a while either? A rare bear. Hopefully we can get a rare bear today. Johnny, did you ever get Larry to bite? Or uh, have you? are you still looking for him? Because I've had him bite in like the same spot both times. Just like right against the bank. And I was using the uh, one-out hook with cheese, so if you haven't tried that, maybe toss that on. Seems to work pretty good for him. I saw it for a brief second. Oh, there it is. 
There is the bear. What the? A bear over there? <laughs> Ow! Okay. Uh, that was interesting. That caught me off guard. Just the diamond sauger? Gotcha. Well, hopefully you'll get Mr. Larry. How long since the last rare? Hundreds of kills. I don't know the exact number. But it's been at least like three or four hundred kills. Since our last one. What gun am I using? I'm using the 338 bolt action rifle. Phenomenal rifle. Ah, uh, I guess I would keep grinding for more, Dragon. I'd freak out, take it down, and then grind for some more. How long ago was the last rare? Oh wait, I already read that. Never mind, I already read that one. Hey CL Smith, how's it going? You didn't miss too much. I think you just need to get good, Zacky. You know, you just need to get good with that 338. It's a monster for the bears. You just gotta... Gotta get good at being a monster with it, you know? Where'd that thing go? Is there a second one in there? I think I saw another one standing up. Or not standing up, but moving. I think there's one right there. Maybe not. Uh, guess I'm wrong. 705 on the kills. I'll tell you what, Zachy. I'll tell you what. You tell the bears to, to be nicer to me, and I'll tell the fallow deer to be nicer to you. Hundred six kills into white tail grind no HM got one time already. Nice dude, that's awesome. Congrats on your diamond. We got a five and a seven. Good caliber. You quit fallow? Well who needs to get good then, Zacky? What is the great one that I want the most? Fable Birch, typical rack of moose, is definitely up there. Now, if we're talking new great ones, I'd love to see mule deer, blacktail, both elk species, a buffalo, and uh, lion. I think those would all be really good. Oh, feels bad, Zacky. You hate to see it. How many kills were you into your last grind? Had to be a lot. Um, well, I can tell you one thing, Quixotic. If your males are just disappearing in the moose grind, it, they're just moving. You definitely should search more of the map. There's over 130 zones for moose on Medved, so if you've got less than 130 zones, you probably have more moose on the map that you're just missing. They can be at every body of water, and uh, they're very spread out, and they move a lot. Like, a lot of the times after you get a couple kills, they just move to a different area. With the moose, you really got to pay attention to, like, um, what you're shooting. If you're shooting a group that only has, like, Three moose, like two males and a female, and you shoot those two males. Neither of them are going to respawn because you left only one in the zone. And sometimes you'll get, like, a duo of a male and a female. And then you'll have, like, a solo male in that zone as well. So you might shoot the, you might shoot one of the males. Just so happens it's the one in the duo. R.I.P. It's not going to respawn there anymore. 
So there's a lot of uh, a lot of weird stuff that can happen with grinding the uh, the moose. Oh, no worries, A Rod. No worries. Bears are good for the soul. I mean, I wouldn't say that, but they're okay sometimes, I guess. I'm hoping by the end of the day we'll have a second one. Because, I mean, we're still sub 1,000. And uh, most bears pop up around like 1,000 for at least you. <laughs> so, I'm hoping we get a 1,000 kill one. Bears are so weird. Like, I can't tell if they're an average of two to 3,000 or if it's an average of one to 3,000. Because there's just not too many people that hunt them. There's like barely any bear data. I like it, dirt biking. Nothing. Weird bears. No, not really, Keegan. I never hated the grind for bears once I got it to be consistent. I was just getting annoyed with it because it was 8,300 kills to get a great one. That was the only reason that I was hating it at the end was because it had been 8,000 kills with nothing. I started liking the bear grind after I got two lakes to be insanely consistent. But then, you know, 5,000 kills later when, it, when we hit like 8,300... You know, at that point, you just want to, you just want to throw your monitor out the window. What do we got here? Hello, hello, hello. Mythical's not too bad. Five over there. Oh, we got a seven. All five bears are at this lake. Love to see it. we get him? Oh, you bet we can. Let's go. Love getting all five down in one zone. It's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful, beautiful thing. Love to see it. Uh, that's, a, that's fine, Firewolf. It's more about how much you get per hour, you know? If you're talking about, like, in terms of, like, good numbers. I have found that usually with, like, 15 to 20 whitetail per run, you should get consistent respawns. You shouldn't have too much trouble, like, getting them to be consistent. Uh, but everybody's grind is a little different, so you'll have to just find the sweet spot that works for you, really. Really all you can do, you know. Yeah, Rig, I think it's really good. Probably my favorite pack they've done. And the fact that it was a free one is crazy. Oh, man, oh, man. Will we get a great one bear today? Or even just a rare? Uh, this is the 338. Right here. This is the 338. And yeah, it looks really good, this combo. Looks pretty spicy. I gotta aim the AC at me. It's not doing its job. My PC's overpowering it.
All right, we're back. Hey, Berg, how's it going? Ah, this raid. <laughs> Neither of us are going to get one, Zachy. <laughs> it's crazy how elusive the super rare bear is. I don't have one. Caitlin doesn't have one. You don't have one. I'm pretty sure even Ibai doesn't have a super rare bear. And he was getting a diamond like every single run back when he did his first uh, bear grinds. Crazy that that man doesn't have a super rare. Hey, hey, Lex, I'm doing good. Doing good. Yeah, I can see that Walking Dead edits. It is a little uh, bit of a chonky rifle. Jeez, that's crazy, Caitlin. That's crazy. Oh, really, Zachy? That's wild. Yeah, super rare bears are just elusive. Way more elusive than other super rares, I feel. Yes, Hampus, you do. Because uh, whether or not HM is going to work or not is based off your entire population of that species. So you do have to manage every single zone that you're not hunting as like your main zones, right? Every zone that isn't a main zone, you got to manage it down if you want to actually see results. Down they go. Oh, no worries, Huntress. Good to see you back. Hope you're doing good. Good to see ya. One more bear over here. What are these tracks gonna say? Not a great one, that's what they say. They say that is not a great one. Oh, TTV is here. How's it going, TTV? Hope you're doing good. I was I was gonna say Johnny's saying TTV, but I don't see TTV. Now I see ya. Is it just bear today or moose also? Just bear. Gonna do a as the title says, bear extravaganza. I mean, it, it happens to everybody, Tommy. If you're talking about the, like, incorrect shells picturing. I'm not going to change my loadout right now, though. We're right in the middle of grinding. But I know what you're talking about, and yes, I see it happen to other people. It's just a visual bug. It doesn't actually load, like, a different ammo. Just a visual glitch. Yeah, no problem, man. Hey, how's it going, Pike? Good to see you. Hope you're doing good. Uh, yeah, Koi, I do remember you. I do remember seeing you in the angler session today. Favorite tune in the playlist? I will let you know what its name is, then. It is called Culture Vulture by Def Lev. And Def is spelled like D-E-F. And then Lev is spelled L-E-V, Def Lev.
Boom! Smoked him. Freaking wrecked. Yeah, no problem, Kalen. Yeah, bears are super addicting. They are. I can agree with that. They may get annoying and frustrating from time to time when they're not cooperating, but as long as they're cooperating, they're fun, and they give you a crap load of money. Like, holy. The money is insane when you're grinding bears. Yes, Ampus, I do indeed. Unless it's a zone that doesn't have a lot of bucks, then I try to leave one buck just to make sure I don't accidentally delete the zone. But I, I usually shoot everything in the main zones. Or at least two. I try to have at least two shootables in uh, all the zones that I'm grinding when whitetail hunting. Uh, no, I don't have my playlist uh, public, uh, Blonde Bunny, and this money, you have to pay a uh, membership in order to be able to use it. You have to do a membership to Epidemic Sound, and it essentially like opens up their catalog for use for you. So yeah, it's uh, it's not music that you can just like use. You have to you have to be paying a membership to Epidemic Sound in order to use the music. Where is he? There he is. It's gonna say... We should have had more than just one. And we did. Hey, Deer Slayer. You haven't missed too much. Oh gosh, TTV feels bad. Hey, you know what happens though. YouTube, YouTube doing what YouTube does best. How many kills am I at? 720. Seven twenty-four Z bears. Oh, feels bad, TTV. You hate to see it. Hey, Ender, I'm doing good. Uh, Bubba Bear, thank you so much for the super chat, dude. Really appreciate it. Had a bad day crying till I saw your stream, so thanks. That sucks, man. I'm sorry to hear. I'm glad the stream came along to help you out, though. Hope you can have a, an enjoyable time watching today. Thank you once again. Is there any video I you recommend? I have no idea, Blonde Bunny. The best ideas are the ones that you think of yourself that are unique that nobody else has done. It's mu it's always better when it comes like uh, comes from the heart, you know. People will reward uniqueness and originality. And if the idea is coming from somebody else, it's not going to be, not going to be unique to you. Dwayne, thank you for the super chat. Much appreciated. Love your vids, man. Thank you. Thank you so much. Glad that you enjoy the content here on the channel. Hopefully you're enjoying the uh, the little bear stream we got going right now. Hey, hi, Def. How's it going? No great ones today, Aiden. No great ones today, sadly. Is Fallow HM easy? Yes, it's probably the easiest HM in the game. Fallow were definitely the easiest to get, like, extreme HM going. It's actually pretty wild how easy Fallow are. To get herd managed, uh, down. Oh! <laughs> yes, it's, oh my gosh! 
Come on. This bear is so stubborn. There we go. There we go, finally. Oh, we got him. Yeah, true, Caitlin, true. Bear, Bear HM is fast in terms of kill count, but the tough part is finding them and having them be consistent. Oh my gosh, are you the real CJO the Hunter? Wow. Big fan, CJO. How you been, dude? Hopefully you've been good. Hopefully the fish were nice to you today. If you did any fishing, I don't actually know if you did. But hopefully they were good to you if you were fishing. I'm doing pretty good. Spent the morning uh, reeling in Big Larry on Angler. And uh, now we're shooting bears. Thank you, Cindy. I appreciate it. Oh, you're grinding fallow. Okay, were the fallow uh, kind? Hopefully they were. I think you triggered uh, PTSD for uh, for Zaki when you said fallow, CJO. <laughs> he's, he's yelling in the chat now. Thank you, JC. Thank you. Lots of diamonds. Nice, nice. Love to see it. Love to see all those diamonds popping up. Thank you, Brittany. Yeah, it's unfortunate, Koi. Um, some PCs just uh, may have, like, the wrong specs for it, or it could be a sign of just... Hardware that doesn't, uh, what's the word? To be honest, I don't know where I was going there. We don't have a chat command for anybody nowadays, dirt biking, because, uh, anybody new to the chat will not understand them, right? I got rid of all the commands that didn't make sense to new viewers. Because, like, you know, we may have, like, running jokes here and there about, like, a bro bro being a nerd or something, but anybody new that joins the stream, they're just going to look at us spamming, like, nerd in the chat, and they're going to be like, why is everybody so mean to this one guy? What did he do to deserve this? Because they don't know that bro is like, a close friend of mine and that we're joking. So it just creates confusion. Alright, we got bear there. Bear there, bear there. Okay. How much kills to kill a diamond whitetail? It's RNG. Oh, that's a brown. We got a rare bear. Yes. We got a rare bear. Okay, yeah, let's back out for a second so we can actually look at it. Tell me this is the most boring rare in the game. This is like the most boring rare in the game, no joke. This is literally the most boring rare in the game. I don't understand why it looks so similar to everything else. This has to be my least favorite rare in all of Call of the Wild. Brown fur type just does not look good. 
It looks basically the same as Dusky. Like, you can't even tell it's rare. That's crazy. That's crazy. A brown black bear. Enhanced Dusky, yes. That is in, that is correct. <laughs> they are like an enhanced Dusky, essentially. <laughs> That's great. Well, obviously you can tell. It's just it doesn't look special. That's all I'm saying. It, it doesn't look special. Yeah, exactly, Caitlin. It just looks like they left a Dusky Bear out in the sun a little bit too long. The cinnamon and the blonde are way better. There's a bear. Dude, where's our legendaries? We haven't had one in a while. Been like over 100 kills since our last uh, legendary. Boom. Um, I can't remember off the top of my head, Christian. I'd have to, I'd have to look into it. I'm sure if you ask somebody in the All the Wild Discord, like the Hunter Discord, I'm sure they'd be able to answer quicker than I'll be able to. Because I don't want to go digging through my folders right now when I'm in the zone hunting the bears and stuff. And I can't remember the, uh, the exact folder. Aggressive? <laughs> that was interesting. That was really interesting. Little dusky action. Getting dusky with it. What's my next video going to be at? Or going to be about? Next video is probably going to be catching Big Larry on the angler because I finally got him after a 30 minute fight. Or an almost 30 minute fight. So next is going to be most likely the video catching Big Larry. And then after that it's going to be a elk hunt in Call of the Wild. I've literally been trying to get a rare or diamond elk for four days now. And I just cannot seal the deal on one. I've been doing multiplayer hopping just trying to get like something notable for elk. Or even a blacktail at this point. Like I'm just, I'll settle for a rare blacktail. I just need something, man. I'm going insane not finding anything. It's, uh, it's been wild. Yeah, there is, uh, Tyler. There is two different weights. It's pretty cool. I like that they have a couple different weights for them. I think it's the same for fallow deer as well. Maybe even moose. I don't think so. I don't think it's the same for moose, actually. It's been good, Ultra Clips. It's been good. We finally got another rare after, like, hundreds and hundreds of kills. Got my great one in 303 kills. Dude, that is a very short grind. That is actually amazing. Got an albino pronghorn and a diamond Rocky Mountain Elk and a piebald female Rocky Mountain Elk. Nice, dude. That's awesome. That is awesome. Level 6 there. 
Level six there. It's a level six bear. Boop. Got him. There's more tracks? Elk, of course. Was there only one bear here? Might be only one at that zone. First time catching a live stream. How long are the Great One grinds typically in terms of IRL days? I see the videos, but didn't know how long the grind usually takes takes you. Love the videos, by the way. Uh, it's a long time usually. And thank you. I'm glad that you enjoy the videos. Um, it, I don't really measure it in days. I measure it in kill count. So, usually for, let's say, let's use whitetail deer. As an example, actually, I'll use a couple different examples white tailed deer and black bear. So, for white tailed deer, I've had pretty good luck. I usually get a white tailed deer great one between 1,000 and 2,000 kills. And I kill about usually 85 white tailed deer per hour. So, I can get a great one in about 20 hours for white tailed deer, usually within 20 hours of grinding. But that is obviously. Uh, Provided I'm hitting that like 80 plus per hour mark, which doesn't always happen. It usually relies a lot on the animal actually uh, cooperating. So it, it can vary. There's really no exact time frame, but it usually takes a couple thousand kills in many cases. There's a lot of uh, different factors that go into it. Like, for example, with bears, we got incredibly unlucky. Uh, my first, my first great one bear took 8,300 kills over the course of one year of grinding, like, off and on. Which is an insane amount. This bear grind right here is already up to 735 kills. And with bears, I, I'm able to kill anywhere from, like, 45 to 65 an hour, depending on how they're cooperating. That's pretty insane if that's the case, Tony. That's pretty insane. Uh, yeah, Merle, I did. Nice, Braxton. Nice, nice, nice. It's a really cool combo for them. Oh, yeah, it's crazy. It, it can take a long time. And then I've also had really lucky grinds. I've had a few that were, like, sub-200 kills. I even had one grind that was 80 kills. So, like, I've had some short grinds as well, but there's been a lot of uh, long grinds. There's been a lot of, like, middle-of-the-road grinds. All depends on how lucky you get. Dear Hunter, thank you for the membership, dude. Really appreciate it. Enjoy all the perks that come with that, the emotes, extra Discord channels, scrapped uploads on the channel, and all, all the other cool stuff. Thank you so much for being here. Yeah, but you're still putting in a decent amount of time, Caitlin. Whenever you do decide to grind fallow, you're spending a few hours hunting them. Got a seven. Where's our giants, man? Where's the big boy level nines? It has been a long time since we've had a level nine. Like a very long time. Yo, what's up, Nate? How you doing? Did you see that I uh, I landed Big Larry on the angler? Gonna have to get a video of that going soon. 
Yeah, it happens, Jtron. A lot of my Red Deer grinds were very long as well. With uh, with the Red Deer, I had two 3,000 kill grinds, a 6,000 kill grind, and a 6,700 kill grind. So yeah, they can be very long for the Red Deer. How long does it take to HM Fallow? Um, it took me like... I don't know, maybe like 1,500, 2,000 kills to get it fully managed down to where it is now, where I'm getting a diamond every 17 kills. But, uh... In terms of like... Getting it to a decent point? You can get Fallow to a decent point within 500 kills if you know what you're doing. You can get them to where you're getting a diamond like every 30 kills. Which, uh, it's pretty... Pretty crazy you can get it to that point that fast. Oh, really, Teddy? I mean, they're not too spread out. They're only on the right side of the map, so... It, it shouldn't be too hard to find all of them. Unless it's something else that's confusing you. Like maybe like a... Uh, the bucks moving around or something. Bucks move around a decent bit with Fallow. Just gotta find where they go. Yeah, Johnny got a freaking diamond sauger. While going for Big Larry. Kinda crazy. Seven hundred and forty kills on the grind. Yeah, Phoenix, it's a legendary fish in the angler. Probably not, uh, ML. It hasn't been long enough for another lodge tour. I don't do them that often. Because I need to have, like, enough new stuff for a full video. The Angler will be on console very, very soon, Bobby. They said they're going to make the announcement on release date uh, on the 29th. So the 29th of this month, five days from now, they will tell us the console release date. And, uh... Jaxie said that it's not too long after the announcement. So my prediction... My prediction is that it'll be like the 31st, because that's the one-year anniversary of the Angler. So it would make sense that they would do it the 31st. If that's the one year anniversary of Angler, I couldn't see them not doing that. Like that would just be the perfect move. There we go. I messed up the shots quite a bit there. Oh well though. It is what it is. There we go. There he is. What gun am I using? I'm using the 338 bolt action from the Hunter Power Pack. All right, let's uh let's see what we were going to do the other day. Try to figure where a couple of these uh or figure out where a couple of these respawns went if any of them will be at their zones. Yes, it is the Sarugi. It is indeed. We're going to take a brief moment to check some of these zones. Because it's been a bit since I've gone down here.
How many moose zones do I have on Layton? Last I counted, it was like 95, but I haven't counted in a long time. So we're likely over 120 now for the Layton moose grind. At least 110, I would predict. Yeah, pretty much, Brady. I don't really tax any of the diamonds from grinding unless... Is that a rare? No, that couldn't be, right? No, that's normal. Yeah, I don't really tax any normal diamonds because we've had so many of them. We're also using a grinding method called herd management where you leave all the really low level animals on your map and it, it makes more high level spawn. It's kind of like the game's way of compensating for the lack of large animals on the map. And so it makes more of them show. So we get a lot of diamonds. And at this point, I pretty much just taxidermize the really wonky and unique looking diamonds, the really high scoring diamonds and uh, like rares from the grind as well. Now, if it's a species that I don't do herd management for, then I'll tax pretty much every diamond I get. I think I saw a bear run off right there. And I don't think that's uh, one of the female bears that's normally here. Nice, Grayson. Nice. <laughs> you love to see it. Is this a male bear? It is. Well, I'll be. Male bear right there. Crazy. Well, at least we know where to go to find one. Because, I mean, if I can, while we're doing this, we might as well manage down some of these others. Yeah, that has not changed at all. Well, we'll just focus on that other one. We'll come back for him next run and uh, try to get him down. Only if you've shot solos, Jatron. Think of it this way. If you're shooting the same, like, let, let's say 12 red deer, if you're shooting the same 12 red deer repeatedly and none of them go missing, then a great one hasn't spawned anywhere else. Now, if you're shooting solos and you like have a few go missing, they, you could have a great one in another zone. But as long as you're keeping track of where they're going, you're fine. As long as you, all of your, uh, as long as all of them are accounted for, you're good to go. Level five, level seven. Wow, man, so many low levels. You hate to see it. Oh, I definitely did uh, Walking Dead. I had a terrible microphone back then. I was using just a headset microphone on my uh, on my uh, HyperX headset. Crazy times, man. Crazy, crazy times. Do a little time reset. Do I hunt in real life? I do, but I haven't since I was a kid. Just haven't had like the uh, free time to do so nowadays. You know, hunting takes a uh, decent bit of planning and time spent doing it if you want to be successful and I just don't have the time right now 
I can't really take that much time off of the uh, YouTube channel. All right, there's our bear. I don't think there's any other males at this lake right now. Now, let's go check a couple other spots. I really need to like figure out where a couple of our males have gone because there's definitely a few that I killed that have just disappeared. We've been looking for them the last couple days. Female, female, anything here? Oh, there's tracks there. Let's check these. Nice ultra clips. That's awesome. Like, I really feel... Like a bear would be here, like an extra bear, but every time we've gone there, there's been nothing. It's been the same bears. Oh, no worries, Walking Dead. No worries, dude. All right, Koi. Thanks for dropping by. We'll go check this lake, then head back up to the one that we spooked that bear off from. And see if he's back there. You're going to start a tentless red deer great one grind on Hirschfeld. Do you have any suggestions? Oof. I've, I don't know about that, man. That's one area where I have no experience in at all. I, I couldn't even imagine how that's going to be. You know, now that I think of it, I don't actually think anything could go here. I don't think anything could go there. Yeah, I don't think anything can go down there. We haven't shot anything close to that area. So there shouldn't be any new males at those two lakes. Yeah, I, I see that, uh, Nate. Don't do it often, though, or else it'll get a little bit annoying and spammy, so... I already told you guys, we got rid of those commands because they didn't lead to anything that was like helpful for the channel, right? They didn't lead to like any uh, links to playlists or the rules or anything like that. So we got rid of them. And because it just is confusing for new viewers. So probably just as confusing if you're just typing out them out yourself. Mr. Mythical. Hello there. Holy bears, dude. Bears everywhere. Trying to get a diamond chamois. Need your help desperately. Ah, I'm not the guy to go to for chamois tips, unfortunately, man. I haven't hunted the chamois at all, really, since they changed them to have no drink zones. I think I've maybe shot, like, five chamois since then. Uh, my brother's done a decent bit of chamois hunting since they changed them, though, so... Maybe you could ask him in Discord or something. I believe his Discord name is just Johnny Crow, bro. He knows a lot more about the chamois than I do. I don't really uh, do too much hunting for the species that they took the drink zones away from. Like, uh, chamois... Mountain goats and springbok.
Zevin, thank you for the 13 months, dude. That is insane. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Two level fours, bro. And a five, bro. And a three, bro. Killing me, man. I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna try something wacky, okay? I'm gonna try something wacky. We're gonna leave those fours and that three. And uh, if we get another four or three to spawn in these zones, we're gonna leave it. And then we're just gonna farm one bear and see how it works. <laughs> I'm willing to try anything to see if we can get a great one. We're just gonna farm one or two bears, I think, and just see if it works. I don't think it's gonna end well, but I'm willing to give it a try. Let's see what we got over here. Boom. Hey, K9, how's it going? Uh, the grind's been interesting. We've suddenly just stopped getting diamonds out of nowhere. We're on like a very bad dry streak right now. We got one rare on the day, but yeah, other than that, it's been kind of dry. Oh, gotcha, Zevin, gotcha. No worries, man. You know, you got to do what you got to do. Life comes first. Life definitely comes first, man. A four. Uh, no freaking way. We got a four there. We got a four there now. Oh my gosh. Bro, we're literally turning all of them into fours and below. You know, I just realized we're missing the sixth bear that we were grinding here. Did that bear go somewhere else? Do we have like a great one just chilling in another zone? Because we are missing one. We've had six in these two lakes. Like six between them the last two or three streams. I think one of our bears actually went missing. So who knows what level it is? Question is, where did it go? Because we're definitely missing one bear. Unless I can just randomly find it. It's always possible that just I haven't got all six of them to show up at the lakes on any of the runs because there's always a bear or two that are late but it's definitely as interesting there's that four there there's that four there mythical three okay so we got a mythical respawn and then we got that four let's just kill this mythical Yeah, let's just uh, keep farming this mythical and see what we can see what we can get out of it. He'll count 754. One hundred and thirty five K. Yeah, we did hit one hundred and thirty five K. We did indeed. Thank you guys so much for that, by the way. Pretty insane to think that we're only 15,000 away from one hundred and fifty thousand subscribers. Y'all are absolute legends. Thank you for the uh, long time continued support from all of you. Truly has just been a dream come through. G come through? Come true. Gosh, I can't speak! Scarecrow can't speak, but it's okay. You guys don't watch me for my speaking skills. One, two, three. All right, he's probably at the other lake. Thank you, Aiden.
A five. No freaking way. We literally got all of our shootable bears down to five or below. That's crazy. That is wild. That means that that sixth respawn right that disappeared from our main zones here has to be a small one. It's got to be, or not a small one, it's got to be a giant like a diamond. It has to be. Okay, I think we're going to check some surrounding lakes. There's definitely, definitely something we're missing. Great one gonna pop? I don't know, maybe. Potentially, man, potentially. Hey Bryson, you didn't miss too much, except for uh, one brown fur type black bear. Hello, mule deer. How you guys doing? <laughs> what a weird looking for. What a strange looking deer. Yeah, you love to see it. You love to see it. A great one now would make sense. It would be crazy if we got a great one to pop. That'd be amazing. Got the worst troll fallow ever at 227. Oh no. Oh, oh gosh. How does that even happen, man? That is rough. Holy crap. That's really, really rough. Nothing there. We'll have to check uh, the other zones next time reset. Unfortunately. How many kills into the grind? 755. Had a diamond mountain lion and 230 meters was a five mule. Five muley? Nice. That's awesome. That's pretty crazy, man. There's the four. There's our three. Probably about 80 kills away from a great one pair. I hope so, man. I'd love it if we were like 80 away. There's the four. What is my most wanted trophy ever? Uh, typical rack whitetail deer with the fabled Fabled piebald fur type. Uh, yeah, Lone Wolf. Only thing you missed was a brown fur type black bear. Wasn't a very big one, but it was a uh, rare still. Oh, no, uh, Declan. That's rough, man. Hey, there we go. Level six right there. Oh, 
Oh, that's what happened, Lone Wolf? Yeah, we saw you, like... I saw you after you had already left. I saw your name pop up when it said that you had disconnected, or that you had left the, the server, and I was like... I was like, oh, Lone Wolf was in here. Brober and I were doing a little uh, quick video recording yesterday. Yes, Teddy, it is. There's been about 10 people that have got it. At least 10 that we can confirm were probably legitimate. And then all the cheaters and dupers, of course. Sad, sad scene. Nice, Lone Wolf. I'm glad that you're enjoying it. Yes, Aiden, that is an ultra rare because... I mean, the odds of getting it are so minuscule. It's crazy. It is absolutely insane. Four, five, four, three, so we need to shoot this five. I don't know how long we'll be farming just one bear. I just kind of want to see if it's possible and if we can get nines faster doing it this way with how how many fours and stuff we're leaving now. It's hard to say, Ronnie. They'll have to eventually add one that's on a DLC map, but they've said before that they really want to try and avoid that as long as possible and get, like, base game species first. I think eventually they'll have to make, like, a Medved or Verhonga a free map just so they can still stick to their word of trying to keep great ones free while also giving us some cool stuff that normally wouldn't be available, you know? I'd like to see them do that. Uh, if you want to, Mr. Call of the Wild. Nice, Firewolf. Love to see it, man. Love to see it. The weird ones are some of the coolest ones. Oh yeah, definitely, Johnny. I think it would be awesome. Yes, there is K-Dog. There is Rare Great Ones. There is Albino, Melanistic, and Fabled Piebald for the Great One Whitetail. It is the only Great One that has Rares. All the others do not have them. Our five came back as a five. At least it's coming back at the same zone. Yes, actually, there is indeed rare great one whitetail, but only for whitetail. Yes, there are, people do have them. There's a couple videos of them, and there's a ton of screenshots throughout like the discords. And uh, you see them popping up in other places like Reddit as well. I even have a YouTube short on my channel that's showing off somebody's because somebody found one. Um, it was like the first that had been found in over a year. The chances is just so microscopic. Like uh, the chances of getting a rare Great One Whitetail is so low that there's there's literally been, you know, over 10,000 Great One Whitetail killed throughout the community over the years. And there's less than 15 rare Great One Whitetail that have been posted, and, like, you know, not even all of them can be confirmed to be legitimate. Some of them could have been from cheaters as well. That's pretty crazy. Level 6. Perfect. Now, 
Man, this is uh this is a lot different grinding just one bear. It's really interesting. I'm curious how long we'll be able to do this before it just uh doesn't work well, I guess until it uh gets to a point where it's not really showing any results. Oh, nice, Johnny. Nice. Did you get it in the same area? Unfortunate high def. Hopefully it'll be soon. Uh, bear right there. Four. Three. He might have gone to the other lake this time. That's our four. It's a five. I've noticed this guy always comes back as a five or a six. That's actually kind of crazy. He always comes back as a five or a six. That's actually wild. I wonder if he'll always come back as a five or a six or if we can get him to come back as a seven as well. I'd like to get him to come back as some diamonds, that'd be lovely. Or even some great ones, you know. I'd love that as well. But he's literally been a five or a six, like five runs in a row. Just crazy. Just crazy. It's interesting to experiment like this, though, because we've never really tried this before. The results so far have been very, very interesting. Like, I would expect with there being so many fours and below on the map that this guy would be popping up as like an eight and a seven and a nine very often. But it's just been five and six. What are we trying this new? I'm just shooting one bear repeatedly. Um, on one of the runs, we got a bunch of level fours and one level three to show up at our main zones. I decided to do a little experiment and we're just we're just repeatedly uh, farming the same bear respawn and he's coming back as a five six five six five so he, he's just been rotating back and forth between level five and six which is really interesting And now he's missing. Where did he go? Where did the bear go? I didn't tell it's the same bear because it wasn't there before that I shot that one. And I've only got five bears that rotate between these two lakes and I've left four of them alive. So there's only one left and it's the one that I'm shooting repeatedly. Uh, no, Aiden. We checked briefly and didn't see anything. I'll probably just check for it off stream because it's going to be kind of boring just walking around checking for it. But yeah, we do need to find that missing bear at some point just to make sure it's not like a nine or an eight. Uh, just repetition, Blonde Bunny. I've got over 6,000 hours in the game at this point, and easily 4,000 of those have been grinding. I just, uh, oh. Oh! Ah! Yes! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Holy crap! Oh my gosh! Oh, it's a guaranteed super rare! Oh my gosh! Yes! 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 Finally! 
Oh my gosh! I've killed over 9,000 bears and never got a super rare. That's a super rare right there. It's a guaranteed super rare as well. Oh my gosh, no way! Oh my gosh. Holy! Let's freaking go! Which one is that? Is that blonde? I think it's blonde! I think it's blonde! Look at the feet. The feet are darker than the body. That's blonde. It's gotta be blonde, right? That's gotta be blonde. Oh my gosh, no way! <laughs> no freaking way! <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Okay, let's let the Discord know that we got a super rare bear. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Holy dude. Finally! Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, it's so pretty, man. It's so pretty. Holy. Holy. I gotta start recording. Bow it? No. No, I'm not gonna- I'm not gonna bow it. I'm not gonna bow my first ever super rare bear. I'm gonna take a safe shot on it. Oh my gosh, it's in a bush. We're gonna have to, uh... We're gonna have to go and... Reset the time. I know, it's- it's crazy, Anthony. Right as we start, like, trying stuff differently, we end up getting a super rare. The one bear thing worked? It seems that it did, Miss Brown. It seems like the one bear thing did work. So for those that are just joining in, we tried something new. I had one run where we suddenly had three level fours and a level three show up. And I was like, well, since we got all those low levels in one run, we might as well try out a new strategy and see if it works. So we just started shooting the one remaining bear repeatedly. I think we shot it like seven times. It came back as a five or a six every single time until this run. It came back as a rare level nine. That's just insanity. Like, oh my gosh. Hold on, let me get through the uh, memberships real quickly. There it is. Oh, it's so pretty. You are a gorgeous bear, sir. You're a gorgeous bear. Wow. It might be cinnamon, but I think it's a blonde. I do. Sky, thank you for the one month. Congrats on the bear crow. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Taylor, thank you for the four months. Welcome back, welcome back. Holy crap. You've called Caitlyn on everything? I know, Caitlyn would want to see this. You know what I've noticed? Every time that I get a good bear trophy is like the only times where Caitlyn's actually not able to see it. Is that blonde or cinnamon? Uh, that might be cinnamon. That might be cinnamon. Whatever it is, it's a super rare bear. Holy. Holy crap. I'd actually prefer it if it's cinnamon, not gonna lie. I like cinnamon better. But, uh... Wow. I would say that I want to get close and get pictures, but it's nighttime. It's nighttime, so... We're just gonna go ahead and shoot it. We're gonna get this thing down. Lift your head up fully. I'm not risking it. Come on. We got him. Oh my gosh, man. Oh. <laughs> Holy. No, I'm not going to shoot in daytime. I'm not taking three hours to find a feed zone like I did with that great one bear. We're just going to get him down, get him in the lodge. At this point, if we don't get another great one, I won't even be mad because we've got a super rare. Holy man. 
Holy. Let's see. Is this cinnamon or blonde? I think it's cinnamon after taking another look at it. It's cinnamon. Let's go. Oh, let's go. Cinnamon's my favorite. Oh my gosh. I can't believe I can finally say I have a super rare black bear. The chances of getting a super rare black bear is so insane. And you know what's crazy? We were on like 170 kill dry streak with no level nines. 170 plus kills with no level nines. And this is what we get when we finally get another nine. Holy crap, man. I can't believe that. I can't believe that. And the, this is honestly even more rare than any of the other super rares we've got recently because we don't have bears that HM. They're like half herd managed, right? We get a diamond like every 50 kills instead of every 100 kills like you would without herd management or every 30 kills like you would with good herd management. So this is like a 1 in 15,000 chance of it spawning. And here it is. We did it. We finally got a level 9 cinnamon bear. And it actually made it. 2321. It was a guaranteed diamond with the estimate. I am so blown away. I'm so blown away. I don't even care if we get another great one now. This is more than I ever could have asked for. Wow, man. Wow. Wow. That's like three great one bears rare. I know, right? This is so rare. Oh my gosh. Hour and a half into the stream as well. Holy. I just want to keep looking at it. Oh my gosh. I never thought I'd have one of these. I never thought I'd have one of these ever. And there it is. I mean, some of the most like hardcore grinders in the community don't even have one of these. That's just, this is insanely rare. I'm just blown away. We got it. I can't get freaking great one bears for the life of me, but I got a super rare in under 10k kills. Holy man. Nicholas, thank you so much for the uh, super, or that super chat, the uh, five gifted memberships. Congrats to everybody that got those. Congrats to Miss Brown, Mr. Call of the Wild, um, Lemons, Noah, and Trickle. Be sure to say thank you. And uh, yeah, it's crazy. Thank you so much, dude. Holy, well. Holy, man. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. I'll be right back. I got to go grab a drink. My uh, wife just got home from the store. So I'm going to go grab a drink real quickly and uh, let her know that we got a super rare bear and then I'll be back up, guys. All right. Shouldn't be more than five minutes.
All right, I'm back. I am back. Holy crap, I can't believe we got one. I still can't believe it. Man, 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 man. Whew. Hey, Caitlin, you made it just after we killed it. I can't believe it. I, it blew my mind when it uh, popped up because we were trying a new strategy out, right? Essentially what happened was one run, we had literally every single one of our respawns except one of them come back as a four or lower. So we got to thinking, well, we might as well just try farming one bear since we've just randomly got all these to go low level. And so we tried it. Like seven in a row, it came back as a five or a six. And then one run, boom, level nine, cinnamon. Just insanity. Man, I'm out of breath from that right there. And then I sprinted up and down the stairs. Because I, I sprinted down there to grab a, a uh, sparkling ice. And to uh, tell Bree about the super rare. And I ran back up here. Man. This is insanity. To the collection he goes. Where's the bear one? The bear necessities. Here it goes. Tabled. Cinnamon. Boom. Can they fit there? Nah, they can't fit there, which means we'll just put a, we'll just plop a little max weight there. Where do we put it? I mean, I guess right here, right? Yeah, we'll do it right there. Oh my gosh. Oh my, oh, it goes so well together too. Look at that. Oh my gosh. They look so good together. That's crazy. That actually is the perfect multi-mount. Like, oh my gosh. That looks so good. I like that a lot, man. That might be my favorite multi-mount in the lodge now. Because they the two fur types just fit so well. That's amazing. That is amazing. Jeez. Make them fight, you're right. Okay, that's perfect. <laughs> Man, I would hate to have that bear attacking me. <laughs> Man, that is so cool. That's so cool. Jeez, man. Jeez. And the fact that we just got this guy like four days ago as well is just makes it even better. We got that four days ago and then we just got this guy. Just wow. Just wow. Okay, let's get back to bear grinding. We're like on a roll right now. Oh, definitely, Blue. We will definitely do a uh, video of the Super Rare. For sure. He deserves a full video. Uh, yeah, Jake, he is. I actually recorded a video going after him earlier today. Imagine his respawn is a fabled chestnut. Could you imagine, dude? Game's taking forever to load, so that's fun. Probably because I tabbed out to check Discord. Yep, it's it's frozen. Oh, fun times. 
Well, now's probably a good time to back up my save file now that we got that bear. Let's back up the save file while we're waiting for it to load. Boom. Forgot to update the counter. You're right. Let's update the counter. Boom. There we go. Also, I need to add a super rare counter to my, um, to my counter app on my phone because I had never got a super rare bear, so I just didn't include a super rare counter. There we go. One super rare added to the counter on my phone. Yeah, we're going to have to Alt F4. We're going to have to Alt F4. It's not loading. The game cannot fathom that trophy we just got. <laughs> Thank you, Caitlin. Yeah, I, I can't believe we got it. I cannot believe that we sealed the deal on a beastly bear like that. I believe right now there's only one or two other like big grinders on like Twitch and YouTube that have a super rare bear. So this is a, this is a rare freaking trophy. This is a crazy achievement. I can't believe that. And like we're not even fully HM, so the odds of it are even lower than normal. Or the not lower than normal, but lower than if we were full HM'd. Just crazy, man. Well, let's see what his respawn is. Let's see what the respawn is. No, Ibai doesn't have a super rare bear, which is crazy. Because he had his so herd managed. That he was getting a bear like he was getting a diamond bear like every five to ten kills sometimes back when he grinded them really heavy after release he had hundreds of diamonds ba diamond bears show up and he didn't get a uh he didn't get a, a super rare bear which is mind-blowing i really thought for sure that he would have he deserves to get one it respawned as a five <laughs> he respawned as a five. Oh man There is the respawn of our super rare. Not as exciting, but you know, got to have a few, few boring bears for the crazy bears. Jeez. There we go. Yeah. Could you imagine if we had got another one? Back to the fives and sixes, I know, right? Keep doing the one bear strat. That's what I'm thinking, man. Let's keep doing this one bear strat and just see if it continues on. Could you imagine if this, like, one bear strat ends up working out really good? I mean, it's already working out great for us. We've killed, like, ten bears on this one bear strat. Well, more like nine, I think. And one of them came back as a freaking super rare. The universe would explode if it respawned as another super rare. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. We're only shooting one bear in general, Teddy. We're shooting one bear respawn. Whichever lake he goes to is where we shoot him at, you know? What happened was we normally shoot five bears. We normally have five bear respawns that bounce back and forth between two different lakes. But uh, one of the runs, all of them except one bear came back as a level four or three. So three came back as a four and one came back as a three. And then the remaining one was like a level five or six. So we've just been repeatedly shooting this level five and it's been coming back as a five, six, five, six, five, six, five. And then it came back as a nine. That was also a rare. And then the respawn from that was another five. So this has been very interesting. Cool little experiment we've been doing since we got all those fours to show up. And it's working so far. We may have just discovered like a new, uh, a new meta for grinding, maybe. For the bears, at least. If we keep getting consistent good trophies, then I'll be convinced the one bear strat works. That's a four. 
Seven. Okay, it came back as a seven. That's different. It came back as a seven this time. Good to see. Getting something a little different. Best idea Crow's ever had. I don't know if it's my best idea. I mean, it's a long shot to be fair, but I'm hoping that it'll work. Hoping that it will. Um, Call of the Wild can be for up to eight players, Mike. You can have up to eight players in Call of the Wild. Super rares of an animal is a rare in a diamond. Yes, indeed. That is indeed a super rare. Any diamond that has a rare fur type. Oh, gotcha, Blue. It was, uh, it was wild, man. It was wild. Hey, he might have gone to the other lake this time. That doesn't surprise me, Merle. That doesn't surprise me. Doesn't surprise me one bit. Uh, no, Mike. I don't do uh, multiplayer that often. When I'm grinding, I, I keep it single player because, you know, one person shooting the wrong animal could ruin my grind. Got a four there. Okay, they're being weird this run. He's not popping up super quick. Hey, JD, how's it going, man? I do remember you. Is this a sign? Maybe. Maybe. How do you know if it's the same one? Because there's no other bear that it could be. But look at it this way. I've heard manage pretty much most of my map, right? I've loaded all the surrounding lakes with low-level males and females. And that got it to a point where there's only five bears that spawn between these two lakes. And they kind of rotate between them. These are the only places they can go because the rest of the areas are filled up. And so, if I shoot bears here, they're going to respawn in the same area. And normally I rotate on five, right? But... We've left four of them that were level four or below that came back as fours and below. And so we've just been rotating on the same bear and its respawns. Because it can't be anything else except for the same bear repeatedly, obviously. Because uh, I can't get a respawn from somewhere else unless I'm hunting other places. So we know for a fact that it's the same bear every single time. And by same bear, I just mean it's respawn, right? I just mean it's a respawn from that bear. I suppose I should get better at my wording for that, because I, I could see how that could be confusing. We're just farming uh, one singular respawn. That's the best way to put it. Hey, Bears fan, how's it going, man? How's it going? Yeah, they're being real freaking weird now. Yeah, Australia is the best uh, Red Fox map now for sure, Sky. It's really good. Um, Gray Fox, I think New England is still the best, though. New England is the best Gray Fox map, but Australia is the best Red Fox for sure. It's so freaking good. Yeah, the bear's acting weird now. Oh, just somebody who hacks lemons. 
Just somebody who cheats. Yeah, didn't Mel get a new moose? Didn't Mel get a new moose? No, I, th I saw the post that she put up last night. Didn't she get a new Great One moose? Mythical. Okay, there we go. That's our respawn. It's a mythical. Moving up in the world. Moving up in the world. Love to see it. Little dusky mythical action. Wow. She got the fabled speckled. I want the fabled speckled so bad. Like, I, the more I've seen it, the more I really want to get a fabled speckled. Oh, sorry, Blue. I wasn't looking at chat. I didn't look at the chat, so. But I won't spoil the rack then, if you're if you're wanting it to be a surprise. Got a grand total of six kills into my bear grind. I already know this is going to be a tough grind with lots of checking the map. Oh, yeah, it's really tough uh, for the first few thousand kills. At least that's how it was for me. First few thousand were terrible. And then I discovered... These two lakes that are super, super consistent. And so I just kind of focused on them from then on. I think it's all about just figuring out how your bears work. I have yet to find two people that have their bears working the same way. It seems like bears act a little bit differently for everybody that grinds them. And so really all you can do is just grind your bears until you kind of get into a groove with them. Eventually you'll find, like, what are the most consistent lakes. You'll find, um, you know, which ones get the respawns the fastest, most reliably, etc. Then it'll start to get easier once you kind of understand how your, uh, how your bears work. And I would definitely recommend, uh... Herd managing lakes that you hate. And if you can, uh, this is another strategy you can use for bears. Kill the females as well at the beginning. And then whenever a female bear ends up at one of the lakes that you don't like, leave it. If a female lands at one of the lakes you do like, kill it. That way you can hopefully get males to go to those good lakes instead. That's what I did at the beginning and it worked out very, very well. There's a five. That is our bear right there. Love to see it. Yeah, Blue, it looks insane. I'm I'm jealous. That's a combo I would love to get. That's the reason I keep grinding moose. It's just because, like, the, the combos are so beautiful. It's the same for the bears. Like, I love how beautiful the bear fur types are. I don't like how annoying bears are to hunt, but I love the, uh, I love the way the furs look, so it makes me want to go for another one. Just saw it, it looks, oh yeah, I already read that. You did, Johnny? Oh my gosh. My gosh. You want rare fish variants? Me too, Lone Wolf. Uh, the angler needs to add rare fish to the game, they definitely do. If they want people to, like, keep long-term interest, they need more than just diamonds and legendaries. They need some type of, like, incredibly rare variations. There's a mythical.
Sorry, guys. Had to deal with a couple low IQ freaks in the chat. Trying to disguise uh, racial slurs as other things. How about you go do that in real life? See what happens. Guarantee you won't last two seconds saying that type of stuff on the street. Around other people. Don't worry, you'll have plenty of time to think about it since you're hidden. Two fours there. A three. Where's our respawn? Oh, they just need better parents, Aiden. That's really all it is. They just need better parenting if their kids are going around acting like that and they didn't do their job. That's the way I see it. There we go. Got a great one hooded Sawrack Fallow. Let's go. Nice, dude. That's awesome. That is awesome. Uh, Mythical Goddess. That's awesome. Love to see it. What do I think the next great one's going to be? My guess would be... I mean, I'm seeing a lot of people think that it's going to be Wild Boar. I think that could be kind of cool, but at the same time... Do I really want to hunt another nighttime great one? Not really. Not really. You think I can add you on the angriest one I play maybe when it comes down on console? Uh, it depends. I don't really add anybody on Apex Connect unless they're like, um, unless it's somebody that I've got to know really. It's a possibility. I'm not going to promise anything at the moment, but it's it's a possibility. It depends on like um how hectic the friends list gets. Because the problem with adding a lot of people in Angler is the more people I add, the tougher it is to get into a session with Brobra and Nate and Johnny and everybody for Tackle Tuesday because, you know, the second that we start up, everybody just joins through the friends list. So, I probably won't add too many people for that reason. It makes it impossible to get into lobbies with uh, Brobra and Johnny and everybody. That's what happened uh, last Tackle Tuesday. Yesterday. Was it yesterday? No, two days ago. Two days ago was Tuesday. But last Tackle Tuesday, we spent like 20 minutes trying to get into a session with everybody. And even then, like, one of us wasn't able to get in. I think, I could, I can't remember who it was, but it was either, it was either Johnny or Nate. I know one of them was having a lot of trouble getting into the session because people kept joining. It was Johnny? Yeah, okay. So yeah, it was Johnny. Johnny was having a tough time getting into the session. So yeah, I probably will not add too many people. Um on the angler for that reason because they they don't have they don't have the best multiplayer system at the moment what they really need to do is uh they need to make it so you can make private sessions hey hi bye how's it going am i back up to 8k yet nope 800 i've been doing a lot of moose and to be honest a lot of angler i've been spending a crap load of time on the angler but uh, we're at 800 or 769. We just got a super rare bear, though. I'm sure I'm sure you probably heard about that. <laughs> we got a super rare bear finally, which kind of blows my mind. Cause I'm not even extremely herd managed. I'm getting a, I was getting a diamond bear like every 30 kills, like every 30 or 40 for a while, and then we just went on like 170 plus. Uh, kill dry streak with no diamonds. And then that, that super rare pulled up. Yeah, it was a cinnamon. It was. 
It was a weird chain of events as well. What happened is like the five bears that I rotate on, four of the five came back as level four or level three. And so I decided to just leave them all and rotate one singular bear. And like seven kills later, that super rare spawned. But up until then, every single one of them came back as a five or a six. Like that same bear just kept coming back as a five or a six and then boom, nine. Yeah, I still can't believe that you haven't got a super rare bear. That's what I was telling everybody after I got it. I was like, even Ibai doesn't have one of these. And he put in so much time when they first came out and got it managed down to where you were getting a bear, a diamond bear, like almost every run. Actually, yeah, pretty much every run. Yeah. And so the fact that I got one after just 9,000 kills is crazy. But yeah, the blonde would be incredible. Oh, mythical. Okay. But yeah, I've been trying this one bear strategy, so I'm hoping that it'll work. We've already got one diamond from it, and we're getting more mythicals than we were before, so... We're going to see if the little one bear strat ends up getting us a great one. I swear to God, if I get a, if I get a great one bear off of just shooting one respawn... That'll be nuts. Great one luck's been insane. Pulled six great one in the last eighteen twenty on bear. Yeah, I heard about that. My RNG for bears just must be borked in some way. I've been having crazy luck with moose and fallow. Um, out of my nine fallow, eight of them were sub five fifty, I think, with most of them being sub four hundred or sub five hundred. I mean. And then with Moose, I came back to Moose grinding and got both of them in around 350. But bears just, bears just keep doing this. They just keep eluding me. There's the three. And a seven. There's our, there's our shootable. Ten to fifteen kills? Oh, you're definitely more managed than I am. How reliable are your bears being? Because I have most of my bears that like most of my bears that I'm not hunting right now don't get to their zone until the last 30 minutes, or they just never show up. Like they literally just don't even get there before the time is up. Which is why I'm reluctant to grind down the last few. It's because I don't want to spend like an hour shooting like five bears. Convinced my bears are worse than the average. Because, like, Caitlyn's bears aren't like this. Caitlyn's bears show up on time like clockwork. I only have two lakes that are good. It's the two that I'm grinding right now. Uh, yes, the angler will be crossplay. It will. Jeez, that's wild, I buy. Yeah, I get about 60 an hour with these two lakes, but like, if I try to hunt the other parts of the map that still have a few that need to be shot down, I cut that down by like 80%. <laughs> it's pretty bad. Like, the rest of my map is just ungodly levels of bad. All right, he probably spawned over here. Does changing maps affect your grind? Thinking about moving Red Deer from Quattro to Tiabaroa? Um, only if you're doing herd management. That's really the only thing that you'll notice is if you're doing HM and you switch maps, you're going to have to redo it. Um, but, like, going from map to map isn't going to change your chances of getting a great one. There's the seven. My gosh, I can't click. Oh, the, oh, oh, Lord. There, we did it. Round of applause for Scarecrow. He learned how to click. Oh, I, I heard you did a Scarecrow impression of spotting a great one a couple weeks ago. Everybody was telling me that it was beautiful.
There we go. Do it all the time now. I'm pretty good at it. I did an impression of you uh, right after, right after they told me that you did one of me. Let me let me see if I can do it again. We'll pretend this is a great one. Oh, sick, dude. There you go. That's the eye by impression. <laughs> hey, Doan. How you doing? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I haven't actually heard I haven't actually seen yours. Nobody nobody sent me the clip even though I told them to send me the clip. All I know is that it was exaggerated heavily. They said it was spot on but exaggerated. What's my full opinion on Emerald Coast? Uh, best map they've ever released in terms of just species list. The distribution of the home ranges is really, really good. Aside from like one or two species, maybe. The map is beautiful. The weapon that came with it's decent. You know, it's not insane, but it's decent. I do think it's the best map in the game. Easy 9 out of 10. I'm not going to give it a 10, though, because there's always room for improvement. Like, there's obviously things they could have done differently, but it's a very solid map. Best one they've released in years. Oh, there we go. There's a five. Yeah, the hunting pressure builds up pretty crazily here because uh, I'm only hunting two zones all right let's go see if we can kill that bear that we found the zone for right here I at least want to see what it is if it's a seven or a six we'll kill it Yeah, Rev on Tuli is phenomenal as well. Rev on Tuli is a great map. It definitely is. You're right there. Yeah, it's crazy to think that they released like literally one of the most basic maps <laughs> in between two of the best ones they've done. New England was just so mediocre. And I understand why, obviously. I mean, they said that... Emerald Coast was in the works for a lot longer than normal, so I imagine that's probably why New England was so lackluster, but still just unfortunate. Uh, because, Blue, you get a roll automatically if you have your Discord linked to YouTube. Yeah, I just don't like New England that much. Blue, it's really, really brushy. Most of the animals are reused aside from the greenling teal. And most of the animals on there, like, there's better maps to hunt them. Like, whitetail, moose, bear, there's all better maps for those. Um, turkeys are better on Mississippi. It, it's hard, crazy that I can say that, but it's just like, it didn't do anything better than other maps. That's my biggest gripe with it. It just didn't do anything better than the other maps did. 
and it's incredibly brushy. There's too much water. The home range is for every animal spread across the entire map for the most part. So if you're trying to like do any kind of grind or like just even look at all of your population for a species, good luck. It's going to take you a long time. I mean, there's like 200 different moose zones on New England, which is insane. That's, that's insane. 200 moose zones. No, thank you. I just feel like it could have been better. Like they could have made it better by just not distributing the animals across the whole map. Like give them ranges like on Layton. Make it so moose are only on half the map. Layton has the perfect setup where half of the map is moose and whitetail territory. The other half is elk and blacktail territory. And then like coyotes and bears are everywhere, which I'm not a fan of either, but yeah. Oh, well, see, that makes sense then, Blue. Like, if you're not, if you're not, like, focusing on grinding on it, it's okay. I think it's a good fox map. That's my favorite part about it is the fox and the raccoon. They did decent there, but... Everything else is just like, you know, it could have been better. Yeah, 200 sounds terrible. Blows my mind that Zaki says he likes grinding moose on New England. Ow. What's the best moose and best bear map to grind for a great one, in your opinion? Uh, I would say best map for bear is definitely Silver Ridge. Mississippi is second, though, because it's got a, a lower range that those animals can actually be. Like, you don't have to check as many locations on Mississippi as you do Silver Ridge. However, crocs are a major problem, which is why it's not number one. Oh, yeah, the map is beautiful. It's just, you know... The process of getting to a point where it's good is very lengthy. Dude, Leighton Moose HM is actually nuts. That is the fastest I've ever got a map herd managed down to like a decent point. Like it was faster than Fallow. I spent like 30 hours maybe doing Moose and they're already at a decent state. I did pretty much what you... Uh, what you had said to do, where I managed down all the herds and the majority of solos, but I didn't chase the final, like, probably five to ten big three solos that were around. So it's not managed down to, like, one in 20 type of diamond odds, but I get a diamond, like, every one in 30 or, like, every 30 or 40 kills. And so it's at a point where it's decent enough, and it's been working pretty good. You haven't done Layton for anything. I still stand by it being the best whitetail and best moose map. It's just the quickest to manage down for them. Because there's just such a low, uh, like such a small range that they can be. And there's not nearly as many moose on Layton as there is other maps. So you can manage them down faster if you don't mind searching through all the brush. Yeah, it's pretty much what I did. I killed all the four solos that I could find. I'm sure there might be one or two that I've missed because I haven't checked recently, but I got the majority of them down. Okay, my guess is he's in this zone where I can't see him. Not gonna lie, I think that uh, I think that super air might have just been a one-off with this uh, one bear method. I think we'll probably go back to shooting everything soon. Or to shooting all five of the uh, ones in these main zones. Because I can only do this for so long before I get bored. Chasing this one around when he's being stubborn. Gotcha, I buy. Okay. Hey, we got a level nine again. Let's go. Okay, actually... <laughs> I stand corrected. We're going to keep doing this because that's like 15 kills, like 10 to 15 kills after our last legendary. The one bear method looking pretty good. 
Like, right as I start saying that it's getting slow, we find another nine. Go figure. You know, we could probably bump it up to two, though. We could probably shoot one more bear and just be rotating on two. <laughs> I know, right? Oh. It's a diamond. Boom. Love to see it. Two legs, one bear. Yes. Ah, oh, it's beautiful. That's absolutely beautiful. Now that's how you become a, uh, a call the wild meme. Is if you call it that. <laughs> oh, that's great. Imagine it's a blonde and you can't see it. I would love that. I would have loved if I had picked that up and it was a blonde bear. That would have been great. I I don't expect that though, because we literally just got a super rare. If I get another super rare, then I don't think I'll ever go back. Like, I'll just be shooting one bear for eternity. So far, this is working out really good, though. Four, four, six. Okay. Came back as a level six. Oh, yeah. We got a brown earlier in this stream, and I had no idea it was a brown until I picked it up. In fact, like, I saw it on the ground, just assumed it was dusky. Picked it up, and it said brown, and I'm like, no way. They, <laughs> they need to change them. They really do. It just looks like a faded Dusky. It just looks like a Dusky that stood out in the sun too much. They really need to revamp the brown fur type to make it actually look brown. Oh. Yeah, that's our bear right there. Can I see how many kills I've got on each individual animal? No, you have to keep a track you have to keep track of it manually. Because uh, they only track overall kills. They don't track, like, kills for specific species. I'd love it if they could, though. That'd be great. What was the super rare? It was a level 9 cinnamon that scored, what, like 23-21, I think? That might be the most excited I've ever been for a super rare. Like, that is the last thing I ever expected to get. I mean, I can't even get great one bears, so getting a super rare bear is just... Insane. Bro. They're not there! Thank you, Blakester. How many kills in am I? 774. I think we've killed like a hundred... Oh, maybe... Actually, definitely over a hundred bears today. Definitely over a hundred. Yeah, I think we've probably killed like a hundred and ten bears. Dude. Why? They're being stubborn. As always. I wish there was a better way to approach this lake, but there just isn't. It's in such a weird spot to where I can't place any tents like up on the mountains around it and actually get a good view of him. And like if I place it any closer, they won't render in. So like I have to keep it back there, which is kind of annoying, but it is what it is. There's our level six. It's going good, uh, I show. It's going good. Thank you, Malachi. It, it was such a crazy moose. 
The 50-50 rack moose are not easy to get. I, I don't see a lot of people getting the 50-50 rack moose. I think out of the content creators, the only ones that I've seen get one is I buy and then Mel. And you know what's wild? All of them, Fabled Oak. The majority of them that I've seen have been Fabled Oak. There's got to be something to that. I've seen a couple people post pics of a speckled 50-50, but it seems like it's primarily Fabled Oak that gets the 50-50 rack. And I think it fits. Like, the colors of the Fabled Oak match the two different mismatched antler colors. What fur type great one bear do I want? I would love to get a Fabled Chestnut or Fabled Spirit. I wouldn't mind a uh, Fabled Spotted. It's kind of grown on me a little bit. Hey, Dark Burrow, how's it going, man? Oak with tip and non-tip. Yeah, it seems like the majority of them are that. I feel like the rarest Great One Moose in the game might be the Fabled Speckled 50-50. I've only seen two people post a pic of that. And, like, I didn't see those pics until I asked if they were a thing. Then a couple people sent me screenshots of them. Oh, nice, I buy. Nice. I just want anything, man. I just want anything to show up for bears. Like, with bears, it's like, I just want a great one to show up. With, like, the whitetail moose and... And, uh, fallow, I'm... After specific racks and combos. But with the bears, like, I, I get so few of them, I just want one to show up. I just want one to show up. Didn't want super rare anyway. <laughs> yeah, Zaki. It's okay. It'll get better with time. Don't worry. Just, uh... Just think about how you've got more great one bears than me. It'll make you feel better. Hey, Lemon, how's it going, man? You think the next map will be based in Asia? Maybe. That'd be cool. I wouldn't mind that. I'd love to see either an Asia map of any kind, um, an Africa 2.0 map of any kind, or a Texas Game Ranch. I think that's my top three. Texas Game Ranch with a crap load of exotic species would be incredible. Indeed, you're kind of like right, uh, right in line with what Caitlyn's got, aren't you, Zaki? It's okay. You guys can have your your quick great one bears. I'll take my uh, I'll take my uh, fallow deer. I'll take my eight fallow great ones and sixty three hundred. R.I.P. Zaki. You know what's insane? If I didn't have that one really long grind for Fallow, I'd be at like like 4,000 kills for eight different Fallow deer. But it was that one like 2,200 kill grind or 2,100 kill grind that really threw it off. Yeah, the Fallow luck was ridiculous. Fallow and Moose have been insane for me. Bears and Red Deer have been awful. Whitetail have been kind of like average middle of the pack. Let's see. Let me check all my stats here. So yeah, my um Wow, gosh, that's crazy. Dude. Yeah, so if I didn't have that 2100 kill grind for Fallow, and uh, I'm currently on a 1,300 kill grind for Fallow. If I eliminate those completely, that's like, that's seven great one Fallow in like 3,000 kills. That's insanity. And then for bears, we don't even, we don't talk about bears. 
And uh, for, <laughs> for the moose, not doing too bad either. I've got seven of them in 9,100, but that's because we had a 4,200 kill grind or 4,500 kill grind. My moose have been decent though. 820, 130, 500, 1200, 341, 351. And then Whitetail is probably my most consistent. Out of 27 Whitetail, it's 37,000 kills. So a little bit over 1,000 kills on average for Whitetail. Mountain lion tracks. Ugh, disgusting. You hate to see it. Absolutely disgusting. Yeah, 6 and 1200 is nuts. Who was it that was getting good luck with bears? Was it zombie? Pretty sure, I'm pretty sure it was zombie that was having crazy bear luck, right? Or no, no, it wasn't. No, wait. No, it wasn't. It wasn't zombie. I know somebody got 19 in just a few thousand. Zacky knows the name. Who was it that got 19 of them? Oh, legendary. Okay, the legendaries are popping up like crazy now. Yeah, we're just gonna keep. We're just gonna keep rotating one bear. Uh, this is just a few kills after the last diamond. That's Kiwi. Got you. Yeah, 19 is insane. Like, holy. Nineteen Great One Bears is wild. Like, he came in with those numbers yesterday and I was like... You sure? You sure you're not lying? But no. Seems like he's legitimate. Just incredibly lucky. The amount of bear grinds that he had that were sub-50 is nuts. That's a diamond. Love to see it. Yeah, this little, uh... Little experiment with just shooting one bear is working out pretty good. It's actually working out pretty great. Okay, no extra pair of footsteps there. Go check this lake first. Nice dynamic. Got you, I bye, got you. Yeah, that's what um that's what Zaki was telling me is that you that you're in call with him when he grinds a lot. And at that point I was like, okay, yeah, he's he's probably legit, then he's probably fine. But man. It, that's just insane. That's like the same type of numbers that Jerk was getting with his moose. Like, actually, even better. I'm pretty sure Jerk was getting great one moose off of Yukon in like sub 200 kills consistently. Like, I've had some pretty crazy moose numbers, but his moose numbers are nuts. Like, I want that type of luck with moose. I do. I've had a lot of good moose grinds, but I've also had a lot of really bad ones. I want the fallow, fallow type luck for those moose. Because the moose just looks so much better. You know, for a while I was thinking that the great one fallow was probably going to be my new favorite, but after seeing a lot of them, I still think moose is the best. I think it's got the most variety, it's got the best looking furs, and the racks are pretty solid as well. Hey, there we go, Mrs. Crow is in the building. Mrs. Crow in the building. To give us that great one luck. Yeah, definitely, Zacky. He was going nuts. We got a stubborn bear. I'd like to kill one more of these bears just so we got another one to shoot, but 
We've been getting those diamonds so consistently after we went to only shooting one that I don't want to mess that up. I don't know what uh, adding one more bear will do to it. What do I think about them adding a map where you can customize all the animals and landscape? I mean, as cool as that would be, I don't think they can do it. I don't think they could pull that off. Uh, it'd be cool if we could, like, customize a map to our liking, but there's just so much work that goes into, like, adding spawn points, need zones, stuff like that, that it would be so much work to make it so that you could customize a map to your liking. That would be years of development just for one map if they tried that. For all I know, it might even not be possible on their graphics engine. I could just see so many problems and bugs arising with something like that. You know, I bet he's right here and he just isn't rendering in. Let's go check for tracks. <laughs> yeah, Johnny. You can just load it with mountain lions. Sounds about right. I think I may have called it. I think it's right here. I think our missing bear is right here. Yep, and he's max weight estimate. Ugh. You love to see it. Max weight estimate, of course. Yeah, let's get the Great One chant going. Everybody drop those 10 fables in the chat. We'll see if we can get it. Let's back up as far as we can, get this guy to render. How long am I streaming today? I'm not sure. Not 100% sure. I mean, we already got a super rare, so I might not stream for as long as I was planning to. I was gonna do like seven hours of bears today, but I mean, we got a super rare. I don't even need to grind super hard for bears anymore. I'd be happy with that super rare. Even if we never get another uh, great one bear. I've at least completed the multi mount, which was the goal. The goal was to complete the multi mount, whether it was a super rare or a great one. So we'll see. I mean, we might even switch over to moose at some point. I have seen a few people the last couple days asking for more moose. Yeah, we did get a super rare. It was a uh, cinnamon. It was a 23.21 cinnamon, I believe. I think it was uh, 2321. You should do the seven hours, though. I probably will. I probably will. Yeah, he did. He got folded over. He did. Yeah, dynamic. We got a super rare, dude. Uh, it blew my mind when I spotted it. That's the last thing I expected to see today. I I never expected a super rare. Out of a freaking bear grind. Like, holy. Like, uh, I haven't even got a super rare moose to spawn after, like, getting HM going. I, my only super rare moose was at the very beginning of a grind. And, like, I haven't even managed to get another super rare moose since, yet we get a bear in about the same amount of kills that I've spent on Moose. And the bear super rare is way more rare. Way more rare. Just insane. Alright, he might not be there yet. We'll check over here though. He could be over there. <laughs> Having a super rare bear is a skill issue. Coping again, huh, Zacky? Thank you, Andrew. Thank you. Andrew, don't you have like nine great one bears or something crazy like that? Did you manage to get a super rare during your grinds? Great one in 10 kills? Could you imagine? 
That'd be crazy. And it's just a level six. All that for level six. All that bouncing around for one level six. Holy. Yeah, with all those emotes, if we don't get a uh, great one bear today, it, it'd be a crime. It'd be a crime not to give us a great one bear. Let's see what our uh, recent kills are. Jeez. So yeah, those those popped up really quick. Those two diamonds popped up very close to each other. And then I'm pretty sure the last diamond was just below where it cuts off. Nice, misters. That's awesome. That is actually pretty crazy. Gotta love those uh, 500 or less great ones. 500 kill grinds are the best ones. Oh, they definitely are, Johnny. I spent so much time going for them and couldn't really get much. What super rare? We got a uh, black bear super rare. That was a cinnamon. Cinnamon super rare. Oh, nice, Andrew. Nice. So you got a, you got a cinnamon one as well. Nice. Yeah, I thought I had heard that you had one, but I couldn't. Uh, I wanted to make sure straight from the source. These things are freaking rare, man. A little dusky. Thank you, Dynamic. Thank you. I still can't believe it showed. That's one trophy I never expected to get. That's one thing I thought we would never get. Yeah, Johnny, they're tough. They're tough. Um, Because a lot of the areas where the where they have them, there's also like bluegill and uh, black crappie as well. And they bite the same things, so... Seven. There we go. Uh, yeah, diamond kangaroos are decently rare. You get a lot of trolls with kangaroos, so yeah, you don't see a ton of diamonds for them. I'd say the chances are higher that it's going to troll than, uh, than it, that it's going to make it. That is decently rare, yes. You got seven in a row and you're still looking for one? Oh man, seven trolls in a row is a yikes. There's our three. Go check over here. Today I got a turkey and it's an albino super rare. Nice, dude. Nice. Love to see it. Mythical. Can you uh, move up in the ranks by one next uh, next rotation, please? 
Ooh, that sounds good. Pumpkin spice cookies with cream cheese frosting. Ooh, that sounds incredible. Might have to get me one uh, later. Might have to get me one later. You have moose luck? Uh, I'll make a trade with you, Zaki. I'll give you moose luck if you give me a uh, great one bear luck. I need some great one bear luck, and then I'll send you some moose luck, okay? Nice, Wyatt. Nice. That's awesome. Oh, you meant albino diamond. Yes, that is incredibly rare. That's ridiculously rare. Albino diamond kangaroo is probably one of the rarest super rares you could get. Just because of how often they troll. Hey, TTK, how's it going, man? We got a super rare bear at the beginning of the stream, like an hour and 24 minutes into it. It was unreal. Unfreaking real. Yeah, it was a it was a cinnamon, man. It was a cinnamon. Scoring 2321, I believe. Uh, this is Silver Ridge Peaks, Wrecker. Silver Ridge Peaks. Thirty-two hundred kills into my fallow grind with HM. Any tips? I mean, as long as you're getting diamonds consistently, I mean, there's really not too much else you can do, man. Just keep on shooting them. That's really all there is to it. Keep on shooting till it pops. Sometimes you have long grinds. It's inevitable. Thank you, Austin. Yeah, we're doing good, man. We have been doing very well. Hopefully you've been doing well also. Let's see. Boop. Seven again. <laughs> Keeps coming back as a seven. Almost 1.2k in for Whitetail. He's dynamic. Getting up there. Hopefully it will be a sub 2000 kill grind for you. Hopefully it will. This is our respawn. About the same size again. Okay. Gotcha, dynamic. Gotcha. Yeah, hopefully you can get it managed down to where you want it. Oh, geez, Austin. Yeah, that's wild. That, that does sound wild. Yeah, it happens, Metal Man. We all have some grinds here and there that kind of test our patience. My first bear grind definitely tested uh, my patience. So I understand it, man. I get it. How many zones do you need for Whitetail on Layton? Um, there is between 65 and 75 zones on Layton. Gonna differ a little bit from person to person, but if you're if you found over 60, I'd say you've found the majority of them.
That one bear's feeling so much pain. I know, right? We're just repeatedly killing him and everything that respawns from him. Uh, yeah, dynamic, yeah. So basically what happened is one of our runs, four of our five bears came back as level fours or threes. Actually, I think it was, I think it was in two runs, but one of the runs we had two fours and a three show up, and then the next run a four showed up with a five. So we've just been rotating on that one that came back as a five, just repeatedly shooting him over and over again. And literally, like, within seven kills or so, that super rare showed up. And then we've had, I think, three diamonds since then as well. All within the matter of like 40 or 50 kills. That's a legendary there too. Oh my gosh, it's every 10 kills. Literally like every 10 kills or less, diamond. We found the freaking strategy, man. Just shoot one bear over and over again. Holy. At least bears are, like, consistent enough, like, respawns-wise. Like, they always respawn very fast. You don't need to shoot more than one to get your respawn. So we can do this with them. That's a diamond as well. Jeez. That's just crazy. One bear strat OP, I know, right? So, like, once you've heard managed things down, you can... At least as far as we can tell, if you've got a consistent bear that always comes back to the same general area, you can just rotate on one. I don't know how, like, reproducible this will be, like, or right? Like, I, I don't know how easy it would be to do this on just any old grind, because I imagine you need specific circumstances. Like, for us, we only have two lakes that we have to go to, because that's the only two places that these bears go. We've loaded up all the surrounding areas with females and small males, so they don't really have anywhere else to respawn. So, we can do this. I would imagine you would have to get a bear or two that are super, super consistent. Always come back to the same area. Otherwise, this just would not be easy to do. Look at that, though. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. We're getting a diamond bear every five kills. Diamond bear every five kills. Holy crap. The last three diamonds have shown up in 15 kills. That's crazy. Two legs, one bear for the win. For real. This is insanity. I just hope this continues. If we can keep this up from now on, this grind could get pretty nasty. I mean, the chances of super rares popping up with one in five diamond odds is so, so high compared to normal. So I hope that this continues. I think this is our new strategy. I think we're just going to do this from now on. I don't think I'll ever shoot another bear again except for this one. You did, Tony? Oh my gosh. That spot must be a hot spot for Diamond Sauger then. So we now know of at least two locations where Diamond Sauger get pulled out very... Uh, very consistently. That's sick. I might have to go uh, go to that spot on the river a little bit later. Uh, go for it, Caitlin. Was the super rare one of your first diamonds of the day? It was the first diamond of the day. It was our first diamond in over 170 kills, I estimate. It had been about 170 kills since our last diamond, and then he showed up. Yeah, it definitely was. It was definitely, like, it, it was just prepping us for the insanity that that, that that super rare bear was. Yeah, Andrew, I asked him a little bit ago if he had a super rare bear. He said that he had a, uh... 
He said he had a cinnamon one. Just like the one that I got. It's revving up for super rare. Yeah, it was definitely revving up for a super rare. Oh, really, Doan? I guess they just didn't change it then. That's going to be our bear. Mythical. Ooh, that next shot was nasty. That was nasty. Yeah, there is no albino black bear, uh, dear. There is no albino black bear. <laughs> I know, right, Merle? That's got to be literally my best timed moment ever. Where I literally was like, I wonder if the map's revving up for a big old great one. And then we spot the great one. That was the best timed thing ever from me. Austin, thank you so much for the 17 months, man. Welcome back. Welcome back, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey, Chandler, how's it going? Uh, we ended up getting a super rare, man. We've got one super rare on the day, and we've been trying a new strategy where we only shoot one bear repeatedly. We got, uh, we got the other four bears at our main zones to turn into fours or smaller. So we've just been rotating on one singular bear. And it's worked out really good so far. We've had three diamonds that were all within like five kills of each other. It was like diamond, a few others, diamond, a few others, diamond. It was insane. So we may have really, uh, we may have really discovered what we're going to be doing for the rest of this grind. I'm just curious if this can be repeated on any grinder, if it's really going to be dependent on where your bears are respawning and how reliably they're coming back to the same spot. Because if you've got if you've got bears that are still moving around a lot, this definitely will not work as well. You'd be spending a lot of time chasing that one bear. But if you've got some that are super consistent that always go to the same spot, this is insane. Like, it's just unbelievable. Yeah, Blueberry, we did get one. It was a cinnamon. It was like an hour and 20 minutes into the stream, roughly. Mm, that's happened once or twice, Mr. Call of the Wild. To be fair, I get asked what my kill count is at least 50 times every stream. So it's pretty normal that we're going to get a great one shortly after talking about our kill count because I get asked about it so much. There's the three. Okay, he's probably at the other lake now. Nice, Pike. Nice. Can't wait for my bears to get consistent. Yeah, it's just a matter of paying attention to your map as you're hunting. Just pay attention to the map as you're grinding and Take note of which areas seem to get their response super, super quickly. Because to be honest, like, I probably could have started grinding just these two lakes sooner. But I didn't notice it until I decided to... Essentially just delete the zone. And then I noticed they kept coming back even with all the hunting pressure. And I was like, okay, I could totally just farm these two lakes. So let's... Try to finish managing down the rest. And so that's what we did. And here we are, like, 5,000 plus kills after that, and we're still just hunting the same two spots. Could this be hurting my chances at great ones? The world may never know. It definitely could be, because I, I definitely get... Uh, much worse results in uh, great one numbers than anybody else doing... HM for the bears, so 
feels bad. Actually, really, just anybody in general, whether they're doing HM or not. My bear luck's just been awful. And I feel like it's got to be... It's got to have something to do with the fact that I'm only going to two lakes. Because the second that I started hunting a few other areas is when we got our first great one bear. So I wonder if I'm hurting myself by just hunting two spots. But it is what it is. I just get very uninterested in bears when I have to go to all the zones where they take two and a half to three hours to get to their zones. I just can't be interested when they're doing that. All right, he might be over here again. Nothing walking through the trees. That's what I'm struggling with. Yeah, like that's the toughest part about the bear grind is the inconsistencies in like arriving at their zones on time. I honestly, I don't think they need to change them from being nighttime. Like, I don't think that's the biggest problem with the bears. I'd be fine with them being at nighttime if they would get to their zones more consistently on time. Like, no, no animal should be three and a half hours late to their zone. And sometimes never even make it to their zone on time. Because I've had stacked males that just never made it before the time was up. So I think if they just fixed that to where the bears got to their zone within, you know, an hour and a half of it being their drink time, then I think we'd be having a lot better time and I think a lot more people would hunt bears even if they kept it at nighttime. Oh, no way. No way. <laughs> All Every single one of them's four and below here. <laughs> he came back as a four. What do we do now? <laughs> Which one do I decide to shoot? Which one is the one we've been shooting? I might just go shoot the four that's over here now that we got these stacked over here. Hmm. We'll just shoot one of them here, actually. We'll just shoot this one. That's hilarious, though. <laughs> that's hilarious. Dusky. Nice, Blueberry. That's awesome. Yeah, exactly, J6. Just make bears consistent, please. That's all we ask, EW. Make bears consistent. You can keep it nighttime. Just make them consistent. I mean, I wouldn't be mad if they made them daytime as well. In fact, that'd be ideal. But I, I'd i take, you know, just making them consistent. Uh, how about the Bolt Action 308, Parker? Yes, make all of the Predator animals consistent, for sure. That would be amazing. What map do I use for the Fallow Deer Grind? I use Tiabaroa. Well, you could, Zaki, if you just reworked how the uh, solos interact with zones. And that's not really what I mean by consistent. When I say consistent, I just mean make them get to their zones on time. Like, instead of making them be two and a half to three hours late, make them be an hour and a half late or less. 
That's what I mean by make them consistent. I'd like for them to not move around all the time as well, but because they're a solo animal, they'd have to rework how that works. So they'd have to make some changes. I think they could do it, though. I think they could make it so solos uh, will respawn at the zone they're tied to. They could totally make it happen. They probably just choose not to, to add some randomness to it. I'm sure they could change it if they wanted to, though. Is there such thing as a leucistic whitetail in Call of the Wild? But he showed me a picture of one, but not seen any videos on one. There is no leucistic whitetail deer in Call of the Wild, no. There is in real life, though. They do exist IRL, just not in game. It's something I've always wanted them to add. Oh no, Eric. That sucks, dude. I'm sorry to hear that. That's such a beautiful, great one, too. I'd be so sad if I lost one of those. That's why, like, every time I get a great one or a super rare to spawn, I back up my save file immediately. Because this game does have plenty of crashes that happen at the worst time possible. I think it came back over here again. Did you just get another great one, Bear, Zaki? The uh, 800 kills, let's go, makes me think you did. <laughs> makes me think you did. Oh, you hit 800 kills, got you. How many kills have my great one Fallow took separately? Like, are you talking about each grind? How much has each of my grinds been? I will tell you right now. My Fallow Deer grinds were 428, 395, 460, 349, 2155, 456, 513, 379, and then my current one is 1284 without one. Game crashed last night while I was waiting for a piebald blacktail floater. Picked up a coyote calling it insta crashed. Oof. You hate to see it, man. You hate to see it. When I have something good down, I just don't grab calls anymore. Well, it's because it's a command deer, like, um, one of the moderators or members has to enter the command for it to bring them up. Yes, Fins, I did. I did. I am definitely, um, above average on how many low kill grinds that I had for Fallow. Like, most people were not getting them in sub 500 that consistently. The majority of people were getting their great one Fallow between like 1,000 and 3,000. There was a lot of people getting, you know, uh, like under 1,000, but it usually wasn't like every single grind. It'd be like one or two of their grinds would be really short, a couple would be kind of like average length or long. I only know a few other people that were getting like seven plus sub 500. Um, I didn't get the first ever great one fallow. I don't think. No, no. 
Um, a couple other people got them before me. I think I was the first content creator to get one on live build. Iabai was the first to get one on early access, though. He got one in early access. And then I think I was the first creator on live build to get one. But uh, I definitely didn't get the first one. I think Zaki might have been really close. Zaki got one like 120 kills in. But I think there was one or two people that got them quicker. We got a pretty early one, though. We did get one very early in the release of them. It was 150? Got you. Yeah, so you were super close to getting the first one. Pretty decent combo as well. Irish Rack Silver is not bad. Where are this bear, though? Where did this bear go? First day, right? Yeah, I did get it first day. I think I got it like eight hours into the grind or something. I think that day I did like a 12 or 13 hour stream. And I got the great one at like... Actually, it might have been 11 hours in. I think I might have got the great one at 11 hours in the stream. I don't even remember. That day is kind of a blur. Nice, Blueberry. Would have been first if you didn't go to the dentist. Just think of it this way, though, Zaki. If you hadn't gone to the dentist and, you know, you started grinding at a different time, you might have took a different route and hunted different deer in a different order, and that might have made your great one not show up. You know, you got to think, like, you never know. You never know how things could have turned out if one thing happened differently that day. You might have had your first great one in like 7,000 kills instead of 150. He turned. Been a little bit since the last time now. Mind blown. I know, right? Just it's crazy to think about. If one thing different happened in your life, your entire life could be different. Actually, it hasn't been a long time since the last. It's been one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> so, yeah. It just feels like a long time because we're only shooting one repeatedly. Thank you, Grayson. Can anyone tell me what I should take a max score blue wildebeest with? I already told you, Parker. I, I already told you. I answered you. Like, probably 10 minutes ago. I said, use the uh, Bolt Action 308. Bolt Action 308's a pretty sick gun for taking down diamonds with. Oh, he said he doesn't have it. Gotcha. Um, seven millimeter then. The seven millimeter. Nothing there. Uh, I don't really hunt Rev on Tuli for moose anymore. It's just not consistent enough for me. The moose move around too much. I don't want to have to chase them around all the time. We grind uh, latent for our moose nowadays. Nothing. They're being stubborn. All right, later, Aiden. Later, my dude. What happens if you start getting zero each run? Then I'm going to assume that they're being weird and that there's probably a great one. That's what always happens with Fallow and Moose is if I start seeing my respawns being really weird, like we'll have a couple runs where all of them just don't come back, then 
Usually, we have a great one shortly after, so I would just assume we have a great one coming. Uh, Bear, thank you for the super chat, dude. You know any good moose maps? Yes. For me, personally, I think Leighton Lakes is the best... The best map for herd management moose. If you're not doing herd management, Rev on Thule and Medved are probably your best options. So it's really dependent on what you prefer. And I gotta plug my phone into the charger, it's about to die. There we go. We're good now. We're good. How do you pull up your last kills? Uh, you go to the codex, and then you go to latest harvests. Codex, hunting log, latest harvests. There it is. Boom. Nice, Johnny, nice. Yeah, I need to do that challenge as well at some point. Because I accepted that same one, I'm pretty sure. Best map for Red Deer? Easily Tiabaroa. Oh, you did, Johnny? Nice, nice. How many kills do you think it will take to do Revon Tuli and no HM grind for Moose? I can vary a lot, Lando. For me, like without HM, I was getting Great One Moose at around like 1200. I'd say around like a thousand to fifteen hundred would be the average. Yeah, we're hitting a little bit of inconsistent heat. English is tough. We're hitting a little bit of inconsistencies here. Don't like what I'm seeing at all. Unless it means we got a great one. But if we don't get a great one, that just means our bears are being weird. To be honest, there's been so few people that have actually, like, stuck to multiple bear grinds that it's so hard to tell, Sneaky Sam. Like, some people get really good luck with bears, others don't. I, I don't even know, like... I don't even know what the averages really are for bears. It's... That's why with bears, I just say the average is between 1 and 3,000. 1,000 to 3,000 because there's such a small data pool to go off of. Not a lot of people grind bears because of how annoying they are with being at nighttime and being super late. Uh, just not many people want to do bear grinds. Yeah, you never know. Maybe we'll get a great one. I'm definitely seeing a lot of bears being really late to their zones and just not showing up. Ah, we found the respawn. Level six. Oh, that was awful. That was awful. I'm I'm not gonna do a truth or dare thing, Case, because I already know that if you uh, if I if I select something like truth, you're gonna ask me my address or something, you know. <laughs> I just I have nothing to gain from doing truth or dare as a content creator. I have nothing to gain.
One thing to get Angler on release for console. Is it hard to learn? No, it's very easy to learn. Uh, the tutorial they've got now is incredibly detailed and explains you explains to you everything you could possibly want to know. So it, it's definitely not tough to get used to. Oh, nice, Johnny. Nice. You'll have to show me that spot because it's uh, sounds like it's pretty good. Mythical. Okay, moving up in the world a little bit. Moving up in the ranks here. We got a mythical. Love to see it. Yeah, even Caitlyn got into the angler. And before that, she hated fishing games. I'm pretty sure my wife Bree has played less than 10 hours of angler. And she, like, got right into it and was catching fish like crazy from the beginning. Angler's a very, uh, it's a very, like, low barrier to entry type of game. Like, you don't have to, like, there's not, like, a lot of, what's the word? Literally anybody can play it and just instantly be catching fish. Uh, it, it it's one of those games where... You get a lot of fish, but it's the quality, like, high scoring fish that are rare. Like, it's easy to learn, hard to master. That's that's the best way to put it. Easy to learn, hard to master. You'll be catching fish in no time, but, you know, the giants, they're rare. They are very rare. In fact, I've put over, like, 55 I think I put over 55 hours into the game the last week. Probably more now that I think of it. I've probably put in 60 plus hours into the angler. And I've only caught four diamonds since the update dropped. So I have not I have not got a lot of diamonds in like, you know, 60 hours. They are like properly rare in that game. So like, you know, I've caught hundreds of fish in that time, but only three of them were diamonds. So really easy to get fish, but tough to get the giants. And I really like that about the angler. It keeps the action going, keeps you entertained without making it so the good stuff is too easy or anything. <laughs> yeah, pretty much, Johnny, pretty much. How many kills does it take to get Diamond Red Deer? Without herd management, it's going to be around 100 kills on average. Keep in mind that's an average, so it could take longer or less. If you're doing herd management, you'll be getting Diamond Red Deer every like 10 to 30 kills if you get really high HM going. I was getting a Diamond Red Deer like every 10 kills towards the end of our Red Deer grinding, which was nuts. Yep, sounds about right, Doan. Sounds about right. <laughs> I still can't believe that you managed that. That's like crazy. Like, what are the odds of that? Nothing else there. Where is our bear? Oh, you're at four diamonds, Doan? I'm at four as well. I'm at four on the update. I still don't have the diamond I want, though. I still don't have the diamond cutthroat. Okay. I'll bet this guy is right in this zone. Since we can't find him. 
Tony's at seven. My gosh. Johnny's at five. Jeez. Yeah, y'all are killing it with the diamonds. Maybe not, actually. No, I don't really have a moose guide because it's really tough to make a guide for them. Because uh, they're gonna, they're very inconsistent until you like have hunted your map a bit and like managed it down. Just because there's so many freaking solos, man. The solos bounce around all the time. Sometimes even the ones from herds will bounce around. Moose are just so widespread. I don't, I don't even bother making guides for them really. Moose, it's always the same thing for me. Search the entire map. Unless you're on Layton, then you just search the left half. And uh, just keep note of where your zones are. And pay attention to the consistency amongst all of them. See which zones are consistent, which ones aren't, etc. It's not there. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, definitely, Johnny. They've been decently uh, tough to acquire, even with the increase this update. I've played a few hundred hours of Fishing Planet. I'm not a fan of it, Ryan. Uh, the progression system is just not for me. Like, the whole travel costs and, like, license costs... You know, fishing games, they're not my primary game. The Hunter Call of the Wild is my primary game, so I don't have an absurd amount of time to, like, be making back all the money spent on licensing and stuff like that in Fishing Planet. Especially because, like, my interests change constantly in fishing games. One day I'll want to fish for this fish. The next day I want to fish for a different fish. And in Fishing Planet, if you didn't make back the money, you're losing money if you switch, like, targets as often as I do. So it just doesn't fit me. Fishing Planet just isn't for me. Now, if they reduced the, like, travel costs or the licensing costs, then I'd get into it. Because I wouldn't feel like I'm forced to fish for the most expensive fish all the time. And I wouldn't feel like I can't switch locations. is not for me no great ones uh lemons lots of diamonds though we've had uh like four diamonds since the super rare how many kills we're at 797 Uh, I got an idea, Zacky. Iron sights, crossbow. Get it? Get a little bit risky and wild with it. Every time, every time he's not there. You know, I'm loving this method, but. If the bear isn't there, oh, we waste so much time. We waste so much time trying to, like, get him in his zone. I wonder if we could just do the same strategy with just two of them and, like, greatly increase the amount of kills we're getting while also still getting decent amounts of diamonds. I wonder if we could do that. We'll have to see. I might try it at some point. If we have to, we can always just... Shoot one of them down to a four or below again if we find that shooting two doesn't work. Because, like, this is just insane how much time I'm spending trying to get them to the zone sometimes. Well, it's actually been three hours and 20 minutes, so I think we're going to go ahead and take a break. I think we're going to go ahead and take a 25, 20 to 25 minute break so that I can go get some dinner in me as well as uh, refilling my water and stuff. So if you guys need to jump up, stretch a little bit, grab something to drink, grab something to snack on, and be back here in like 25 minutes.
Oh, hey. Fancy seeing you guys here. Hope you're all doing good. Question is, what do we do now? Do we bear it up? Do we moose it up? What do we do? Thinking more bears. Angler. <laughs> I'll probably do angler after the um, after the stream is done. I might jump on angler. I still got to get a thumbnail and stuff ready for the angler video. And I got to get a, uh, a video prepped for that super rare bear. There's a seven. And boom! He's no longer a seven. He's dead. Bear count? 798. Hey, Chip. Yeah, I do need to edit that arc video as well. I know. I do need to do that also. Small mail again, bro. Hope you're doing good, Chip. Hope you're uh, arc arcing it about and stuff. Uh, you go to the main menu to make the respawn happen quicker, Tommy. Beautiful. 799. We're one kill off of 800. Uh, Angler would be on console very, very shortly, like within a week, most likely, because they said they're going to announce the release date on the 29th, so five days from now, and uh, Jaxi was saying that the actual like release is going to happen very, very shortly after. He said it's like super close, but he couldn't reveal like the exact date. So my prediction is the 31st because that is the one year anniversary of the Angler's release. So I feel like it's got to be the 31st. Like, it's got to be. I really feel like it's got to be. That's my take on it at least. Nothing there. Jamie, what you smoking on? That is the most weird statement I've seen. Such a strange thing to come into a stream and say, what are you on about? It got changed to the 31st? Where? When? What did they say? Because I, I just looked in their Discord and I don't see any updated, like, announcement time. Where did they say they're going to announce on the 31st instead of the 29th? Where did they say that? Because I don't see it. I feel like that's something they would have, like, said to the public.
Yeah, I was going to say, I don't see it anywhere, Thunder. I'm looking in their Discord right now on my phone, and they they did not make an announcement of any kind saying that the announcement date was going to change. Still says 29th is going to be when they, uh, when they announce it. You looked it up on Google? Well, that's not straight from the developers, then. Maybe, uh, maybe if you looked it up, maybe that's going to be the release date then. Because they haven't, uh, changed anything in their Discord. It still says that they're going to announce the release date on the 29th. Let me check it on Google. Wow, okay. Yeah, when you Google Call the Wild the Angler release date, it says August 31st, 2022. That's what it says. It's 2022. That's that's what it is. It says August 31st, 2022. It's bringing up the original release date. That's why. That's why you thought that it was saying that they're going to announce on the 31st. It's saying that the release date of the game was 2022, August 31st. That's what it is. It's talking about the PC release, though. But yes, when you Google Call the Wild the Angler release date, it says August 31st, 2022. So that's where the confusion is. It, it says for 2022. So yeah, we still don't know an exact date then. All we know is that on the 29th, we'll get an announcement of when it's going to be. Yeah, maybe, Doan. I still think it's got to be on the one-year anniversary, though. Like, that would just be such a good move to do. Like, make it on the one-year anniversary. Oh, and could you imagine if they, up if they like, released some like exclusive one year anniversary like rods and reels or something or like an outfit for your character that would be such a cool little treat for the community so my prediction is still the 31st I think it's going to be 31st I could be wrong though but that's my logic that I'm using for that I feel like it would just be a perfect opportunity to release it and make like a great impression on the uh, the console community. Oh man, my bears are bears. Yeah, this is the one downside to doing the one bear method. You get some really weird stuff going on with like inconsistency because you're only shooting one bear. What is the spook radius for a tent? Uh, the tent doesn't actually spook animals. It uh, just makes them not render in if you're too close. So if you uh, if you are too close to a zone, you just have to back up a little bit further away from the zone and they will render in if they're there. You won't actually have a tent spooking animals unless, like let's say, let's say there's a, a bear in a zone right here and I fast travel from here to here. That would spook it because that bear is already in render. But if it's not in render, then we can just fast travel to an area without spooking them. It's just if it's too close, it'll be like the bears won't be in render, you know? That makes sense. What are you talking about, Jamie? What are you talking about, bro? You have you've come in with some of the weirdest messages I've ever seen in my chat. <laughs> First you're saying that I need to pay the chat. Now you're saying what stream are you watching? What are you on about? 
What are you on about, bro? Eight hundred kills, by the way. What grind are you doing three months from today's yesterday's? Thank you, Zachy. That's the most comprehensible question I've seen all day. <laughs> Got two diamond ducks almost piebald in the same shot. Nice, Jonesy. That's insane, dude. Sean, thank you for the super chat, man. Much appreciated. Hope you're doing phenomenal, man. How's everything going? It's going good. We got a super rare bear earlier. It was absolutely insane. It's been a very good day. Super rare bear, and then we've had like four diamonds after that. And we've been trying like a new method where we're only shooting one bear repeatedly. Like we, uh, we managed down the other four that are in these two zones and have just been rotating on one single bear. It's been wild. It was a cinnamon. It was a cinnamon scoring like 23.21, I believe. Super rares and great ones, eh, Zachy? It's okay. You, you, you've got enough great one bears. You don't need a great one payments. The five. How many kills since our last dime? Ah, we're approaching 20. Hmm. We're approaching 20. What time was the super rare? To be honest, I'm not sure. I think it was about an hour 20 minutes. Maybe an hour 15, like somewhere in that range. I could be wrong, though. I know, right, Thunder? That would have been insane. It would have fit perfect with our max scoring great one bear. That would have just been like uh, the craziest combo ever. Nice, Slacks, nice. I'm sorry to hear that, uh, Hampus. I'm sorry to hear that, man. At least you got a crazy trophy to go in your lodge. No, it's not. It's not. It's not wid, or is it wideness? Wideness three? Sorry, I don't know how to pronounce your name, but it's not an uncommon, man. It's a rare. Anybody that tells you a cinnamon bear is an uncommon just doesn't know what they're talking about. It is very much so a rare. I have only got 25 rares. 25 rares in 9,125 kills. And about 20 of those were cinnamons. 20 cinnamons in 9,000 kills. You tell me if that sounds like an uncommon. And it's not just me either. That's how everybody's luck is for the majority. Dude, I've got 6,000 hours in this game and I literally, like, study everything about it. Cinnamon is a rare. I literally do this for a living. The only time cinnamon wasn't a rare was when it was a common. Exactly. Back like, what, two years ago? One and a half years ago? Back before the, the Mississippi update? That's when they were common. They're not a common anymore. They were made a rare with that update and have been a rare ever since then. He's probably confusing it with a brown bear? Maybe. Because, yeah, for brown bear, cinnamon would be an uncommon, but not for black bear. Piebald bears, could you imagine, dude? Could you imagine piebald bears? That'd be so cool. I'd love that. 
I don't know if it's possible in real life, but it would be cool. It'd be a cool addition to the game. What are you talking about, Wideness? You're literally talking to the person that plays this game for a living. And, like, regularly talks to the community manager of the game. I literally make it my entire... My entire job is literally playing this game, learning all the stuff about the new updates, and showing it off to everybody. You would just have to spend like a couple hours watching my bear grinds to know that cinnamon is not uncommon. You can talk to anybody that grinds bears. They'll tell you the same. At this point, you're just trying to defend your point because you know that you're wrong and you don't want to be wrong. <laughs> true, Zachy. True, true. True. You could literally make a post saying that Great One Bears are the easiest Great One and there would be people that would believe it. Just because, like, you've had really good luck and you can show them that you had really good luck. Like, you look at my grinds for Fallow Deer. And I get Fallow Deer Great Ones sub 500. Sub 500 kills in most of my grinds. And so, like, I could just say, oh yeah, Fallow Deer Great One are really easy, dude. They're not even hard. And, like, it would look credible because I've got a ton of super short grinds for them. But, like... If you take somebody else's grind, like Flinters or Clintons for Fallow Deer, they've had five or 6,000 kills each just to get one or even zero. And so if somebody sees that and you tell them that it's the toughest great one in the world, there'd be some people that would believe you too. You can literally say anything as long as you have like grinds that back it up. And some people are going to believe it, even if it's not true. No, it's not, Wideness. Look at it this way. Look at it this way. View the cinnamon bear as a piebald whitetail. Piebald whitetail are still rares. But you're going to find about four times more piebald whitetail than you will Mela and albino whitetail. They're still rare. They're just an easier to find rare. Think of it as like the odds are like 0.10 instead of 0 0.05. That's the difference. That's all there is to it. Hey, Smokey, how's it going? You, you don't have to say hi three times, man. I saw it the first time. I saw it, my dude. John, thank you so much for the super chat, dude. Really appreciate it. What is the best great one to go after for my first? Fallow Deer. I would recommend Fallow Deer as the first one because not only are they super, super consistent in the fact that their home range is super small on Tiabaroa and they seem to reliably come back to the same areas, but uh, because they're such a small range, you can find them really, really quickly. And on average, they do give shorter great one grinds than something like Red Deer or Bear or Whitetail. So I'd say Fallow Deer is the best one to go after first. Thank you so much for the super chat once again. Another level six right there. Yeah, Zippy, we're back. We are back indeed. Jeez, Caitlin, that's so crazy. Like, that is such a long grind, especially for HM. That's a super long HM grind. Just goes to show you could be doing everything perfect and have things still take forever. RNG is wild. 
I'm not used to it. <laughs> Honestly, that's a good thing, though. That's a good thing if you're not used to it, because it means you've had great luck. Um, I'd say it's pretty, pretty concrete that they don't exist anymore, Zaki. I mean, have you seen anybody that has a provable initial spawn great one in the last year? And then contrast that with the fact that before the last year or a year and a half, I think it was bad. I think it was last year, pretty much the last year. Before then, we were seeing them virtually every day. We'd see at least one a week. So I don't think they exist anymore because uh, to have such an abrupt stop to it, I just don't think they do. Ladies was before then, uh, Mr. Call of the Wild. So was mine. Ladies was a while back, um, near the beginning of Great One Red Deer. No cap for real, for real. I know, right? No cap like that guy talking about cinnamon bears, eh? <laughs> I bet he's using one of those out of date, like, uh, apps. I bet he's using one of those out of date apps on his phone that, uh, doesn't give you the proper info. Can you believe for a while there was a, uh, like a lot of people thought the gray Canada goose was an uncommon because somebody put that down on a spreadsheet and so everybody would get a gray can of goose and think that it was not a rare come to find out it was a rare but because like one of the more popular like data sources for that type of stuff was incorrect a lot of people just assumed that it wasn't rare That was a show. Don't trust everything you see. Yeah, I only got one of them, Thunder. I remember a while back I thought I had two, but I'm pretty sure the second one was because I was deleting zones. And so that just ended up moving. But I used to think I had two. Pretty sure I only had uh, one. Thank you, Smokey. I appreciate that, man. Really appreciate it. Where do you look up rare coats? Um, trying to remember the name of the more reliable source. I mean, best way to know, like, if something's rare is to ask people in the Call the Wild Discord. I don't recommend using the Call of the Wild Companion app because they don't always get everything right. There's a couple things that I've noticed where they put the incorrect, like, spawn chance for a rare. Where they said that something was uncommon when it was actually rare. So I don't recommend using the Call of the Wild Companion app to decide if something is rare. It's good for a lot of other stuff, though. Like, it, it usually gets the correct, like, trophy ratings and stuff for diamonds and things. But uh, last I looked, the last time that I downloaded it briefly, it had a few of the rarities, like, wrong. I believe Lady Legend has a list in her Discord of all of the, uh, all the rare fur types and, like, how rare they are. Later, Thunder. A little bit too much pressure there. Got you, uh, Jake. Gotcha. Yeah, it's possible they fixed it. You know, I'll download it on my uh, phone just for the... Just for the giggles.
Let's download it and we'll see uh, see what it says for Cinnamon Bear. Let's see. Black Bear. Yeah, it states cinnamon is rare. It says cinnamon is a rare and blonde and black and brown are very rare, which is accurate. Cinnamon is rare and uh, blonde and brown are slightly more rare, so that's accurate. Yeah, it looks like they have updated this app a decent bit. It might actually be reliable now. Because I remember like probably seven or eight months ago I downloaded it and there was already like within the first five minutes of looking at it, there was a couple things that were definitely incorrect. But this is looking better. It looks like they've even changed the layout of it. Yeah, maybe they have got better with it actually. Maybe they have. Hey Bob, how's it going dude? What did I miss and do you have any tips for the angler? Oh, message retracted. <laughs> well, I almost got through reading it. Assuming the rest was like, any tips for angler when it releases on console? And best tip I can give you is do the Taylor's Tackle missions to start out with. The Taylor's Tackle Academy that you get from the uh, message board or the challenge board in the uh, like starting outpost. Amazing missions. They kind of explain everything to you and help you by giving you a little bit of gear to use as well. Definitely worth doing. Is there a date yet or no? Um, not a solid date. They've said that on the 29th, they're going to tell us the release date. So in five days, they'll tell us the release date. But we don't have an actual release date yet. Just a uh, date that they'll tell us the date. But Jaxie was saying on live stream that it's going to be very shortly after. Like incredibly shortly after. That just makes me think it's probably going to be the 31st because that's the one year anniversary of Angler. So I just feel like that would make sense to do it on the one year anniversary. If I were them, that's what I'd do. You know what? Let's do it. We're going to add one more bear into the rotation. Try the two bear challenge. We're going to do the two bear grinding method. Let's see if doing two bears per rotation is going to be any better than doing one in terms of like getting lots of kills and we'll see if it affects the amount of diamonds we get as well. Yeah, probably CL Smith. That sounds about right. Two bears, two lakes. Oh yeah. We're going to try two bears, two lakes. See if that's a little bit faster than one bear, one lake. Or one bear, two lakes, I mean. Is black feral pig rare? I don't believe so, no. The hunting pressure hurts my soul, I know, right? Oh, I was, Jake, but uh, we had four of them come back as a four or lower within two runs, so we just left them. And we've been trying out uh, just rotating on a single bear, and I mean, we got a super rare, like within a few kills after, so we just kept doing that. And we managed to get four more diamonds within like 50-ish kills, including like three of them that were within 15 kills of each other. So... We've just been rotating on one bear. And now we're going to try rotating on two bears and see if it gives us like the same numbers. Oh my gosh. Level nine. 
Level nine. Maybe that's what we needed. Maybe two's the magic number. There's a nine. We got a nine. Let's freaking go. Let's freaking go, dude. We need to bop both of these. Killed one for sure. That's wild. We kill a second bear and we end up getting a diamond or potential diamond to spawn. Boom! That's max weight. Let's go! Max weight diamond. Not quite max score though. 0 0.09 off. Later, Moonlight. Thank you for dropping in, dude. Yeah, Jake, you did miss a super rare earlier today. It was like an hour and 20 minutes into the stream. Yeah, so close to max score. That was incredibly close. Ooh, non-vital organ hit. Non-vitals, that's not good. We might be running for a while. Gavin, thank you for the seven months, dude. Really appreciate it. Hope you're doing good. I'm back to a stream with no great ones. Yup, JC. No great ones. Feels bad, man. No great one gang unite. Hopefully we can get a great one today some at some point. One second, guys. Responding to my wife. All right. I hope so, Gray. I hope so. I'd like to get a sub 1000 Great One Bear. Seems like everybody's getting them but me. <laughs> so hopefully we'll get it. Thank you, Smokey. It's been pretty good so far. Two fours. That's another new four. We already got another four back. <laughs> Crazy. I think at least. I gotta make sure. What fur type do I want for the 50th if it's a bear? I would love Fabled Chestnut. I would absolutely love a Fabled Chestnut. Like, that would be ideal for me. Okay, so yeah, that's a four there. And then we had four, four, three. So yeah, we do need to kill one of those fours. Zombies past three have been sub 700. Gosh, man, couldn't be me. Feels bad. What's better, the Sarugi or 300 Magnum? Uh, it depends on personal preference. I like the 300 Magnum for anything that requires, like, precision. Like, if I'm going for hard shots on Moose, 300 Magnum all the way. But if I'm going for... Bears? The Sarugi is going to be better at getting double lung. Or I guess not necessarily better at getting double lung, but because it can get double lung on a bear, it's going to kill them quicker than the 300 by a little bit. So I use the three, the three thirty eight for the um, the bears. All right, so let's pop this four up here. Butt shot, butt shot. Sorry, buddy. Got him. 
Where's the other bear, though? I thought I saw one in the bush, but I guess I didn't. How many kills are we at now? 812. Hey, plane, how's it going? Yeah, no problem, Cameron. Looked like he was stealing food out of your tent. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, it depends on what you mean by that, Smokey. It can it can be difficult or it can be easy depending on like your knowledge of uh, streaming and YouTube and uh, technology and stuff. But there's guides for everything nowadays, so. All you really gotta do is go to YouTube and search it up. And you will likely get a lot of different videos explaining like how to do it. Five, okay. Need to get that five. Thank you, Mike. I'm glad you're enjoying, man. Glad you're enjoying. Yeah, that's a small male. The other one's probably over here, if I were to take a guess. Nice, Mr. Call of the Wild. Hopefully it works well for you. Hey, Sky, welcome back. Hope you're doing good. <laughs> we got another four here. Both of those came back as a four. That's wild, man. The amount of fours we're getting as respawns now. Crazy. I honestly feel like... At this point, I'm pretty convinced that there's got to be a diamond somewhere. Like, that one bear that went missing... You know, for like three days, we had six bears to shoot. Originally, we had five, right? And then we started shooting the bear over here, and eventually he came over here somehow. And then, after a while... He just disappeared, so we've only had five again, which means he had to go somewhere. I wonder if he respawned as a diamond. Or a great one, or something that's pushing down the respawn score. Because our respawns have definitely been smaller ever since that one went missing. Hey, Mayday, I'm doing good. Oh no, plane, that's not good. Sorry to hear that. Any angler tonight? Probably not tonight, no. Today's a bears kind of day for me. I did an angler video this morning, so... Kind of wanted to just do... Some bears today. There's a seven. Love to see it. There's our three. Yeah, it would suck playing. I hope it isn't, but I always fear the worst with bears. I just prepare myself for the worst. That way I don't get too, like, disappointed. I'm just expecting it to be a long grind. And if it's a short one, that'll be exciting. Nothing in the trees walking over.
Ooh. Oh, gosh, Merle. Ouch. Hey, call the wild player. Yeah, we're at four hours and 20 minutes. Four hours and 20 minutes of shooting bears today. Kevin and I took a 20 minute break, so about four hours in total of actual bear blasting. Oh my gosh. Oh, there we go. Legendary. Let's go. Legendary and a seven. Uh, the legendaries are just popping up everywhere. Sky, thank you for the super chat. Really appreciate it. What fur are you hoping for? I'm hoping for Fabled Chestnut. Though I honestly would be okay with literally anything. I just want to get another. Uh-oh. Made a bad shot. Made a poor shot on it. Where? No! Where is he? I thought he'd run this way, but he didn't. Man, I bet he went up there. That sucks. Oh, well. Oh, well, man. I must have spined him. Because that's low bleed rate. Yeah, it must have been a spine shot. Imagine we pick up that track and it says blonde. I would have cried. That would have been so sad if it had said blonde or something. There it is. Welcome back, uh, West Virginia Deer Hunter. Hope you're doing good. Oh, would have been a diamond, too. Oh, no. No way. It just didn't penetrate far enough to get into uh, any vitals. Actually, no, we were a bit too far forward. Or a bit, we didn't compensate for the drop enough, in other words. Man, well, that sucks. That sucks, man. Oh, well. It is what it is. That's still technically a diamond, so we'll add it to the diamond counter. Yeah, we're rotating on two bears at the moment, Eli. We're trying something different than normal. We, uh, we tried what I call the one bear method today. Where essentially we had all of our respawns come back as a four or a three, except for one bear. And so I was like, why don't we just shoot this one bear and see what happens? Like seven kills later on that one bear, we got a super rare. And then after that, we were getting a diamond bear like every five kills for a bit. Then it kind of slowed down, so we shot another bear. And now we've been rotating on two and have got two more diamonds to show up in the last like 10 kills. So we've just been experimenting with the bears today. And it's gave us some pretty good results. Now the question is, can we get some great ones to spawn? That's a six. You're not a great one. What fur type was it? It was a cinnamon. Um, it was about three hours ago, Drake. About three hours back. We were like an hour and 20 minutes into the stream, I'm pretty sure.
Yeah, that'd be a sick combo, uh, call Mr. Call of the Wild. Yeah, bro, we're still shooting things. We got our super rare and, you know, it's not enough. I, uh, I still had the bear itch. We've been getting crazy amounts of diamonds though, bro, bro. Like, uh, ever since we went to only shooting, like, one bear, we've just been getting diamonds left and right. Like, we were getting diamonds every five kills for a little bit. And then it kind of slowed down. It had been almost 20 since our last diamond, so I started shooting two bears instead of one. And now we've had two diamonds in the last 10 kills. So, like, we've been going crazy. It's been really interesting watching it all unfold. What's the average kill count for Great One Whitetail? Between 1,000 and 2,000 on average. Yeah, Mayday, we got a super rare earlier. Oh, another nine. Another legendary. This is just insanity. Another legendary. Okay, we still have 11 minutes before their time is up. And I just like... Oh, yeah, he stopped. Gosh, what do I do here? <laughs> well, that was insanity. Um... That was either neck shot or spine and lung. <laughs> that was a crazy shot on a level nine. Vitals. Oh no. That's why there was vital blood. We hit the brain. <laughs> oh, I didn't aim high enough. That was huge too. Um, oh, call me the botch king. Robra, move on over. I've just botched two diamonds in a row. Are you proud of me? <laughs> oh, Lord. That is... Oh. Oh. Hate to see that. <laughs> Hate to see that. I am. I'm turning into Brobra. That was two level nines in a row that I just butchered. A stomach shot and then a brain shot. <laughs> Just when I thought you couldn't get any worse. I know, right? It's crazy. Crazy, dude. Is that? That's a small weight estimate. I don't think that's the four that's normally there. That's wild, bro. That's wild. Okay, we got four minutes until we need a time reset. Just give us a great one. Come on. Yeah, maybe, Ronnie. That'd be crazy if we could. There's a seven. Nice. Level seven. Let's go check this other one. Uh, we got to reset the time, though. Hey, human legend, you missed a super rare bear and a lot of diamonds. If the pros do it, then I can't be that bad. Hey, we all mess up. We all mess up stuff from time to time, man. Doesn't matter how much you've played this game. You will mess up trophies from time to time. I mean, I've spine shot a great one before. And it wasn't on purpose. It was an accidental spine shot. It happens, you know? Every Call of the Wild play player will make a mistake from time to time. 
I would mess up a trophy. Couldn't be me. I know, right? Yep, it is another four. Okay. Down he goes. Honestly, I should have left that one and killed the four at the other lake. I, I should have killed the one at the other lake. Because I would prefer them to be at that one than this one. Just because this one, I don't know how it will react if I delete the zone. I've never deleted the zones in this lake, and it's getting a lot of pressure. So I would prefer to load them up here and then kill the ones at the other lake, to be honest. What gun is that? This is the 338 bolt action. It's from the Hunter Power Pack. Great one in 13 kills. That'd be crazy, man. Please. Please let that be true. Legendary again. Let's go. Oh my gosh. This HM is insane. HM plus one to two bear method OP. Boom! Please be max level, or not max level, max weight, max score. Ah, max weight, but not max score. Not max score, but it is max weight. That brings us up 24 diamonds on the grind after 824 kills. Holy. Yeah, this is insanity. Like, this is probably the most diamonds I've ever had from bear herd management. In, like, such a short amount of time. That's pretty insane, man. Like, that is a new level of insanity. Yeah, I know, right, JC? Just show us the great one. He's hiding from us. Yeah, it definitely does feel like a super rare is just waiting to happen. And with us getting more diamonds, the odds of getting a super rare are obviously increased because more diamonds means more chances that when you do get a rare, it could be on a diamond. You can do HM on two lakes? No, no, no. That's the um, that's the thing about it, Caffeinated Crow, is you manage down the rest of the map to... That way you can hunt as few areas as possible. You manage down the rest of the map, and then at the main lakes, you shoot everything, you know? This is, like, what Extreme HM would look like. When you get to a point where you only have a couple places left that haven't been managed down, then you can just hunt those. Oh yeah, if we get a second super rare, it, it'll be insane. I will freak out. Yeah, caffeinated, yeah. Yeah, that's kind of like the, the end goal with herd management is to like manage down a bunch of areas so that you don't have to go to as many places and you get more diamonds. Level four, level three. Oh my gosh, Ender, that's insane. No albino after 7,000 kills? The odds of that is just insanely low. That's crazy. Nice, Dynamic. Nice. Love to see it, man. Blonder Brown for next Super Rare? I'm going to say... I mean, I feel like I'm going to get another Cinnamon for my next Super Rare. If I can manage to get another one. Just because, I mean, 
The chances of a blonde or brown is like half the chances of a cinnamon. Like cinnamon spawn more often than blonde and brown. So I feel like it'll be another cinnamon if we do get another super rare. But out of blonde and brown, I would prefer to get a blonde. A six and a five. Okay. Game's uh, switching it up this time. It's giving us the small males, making us understand that we're still human and we deserve small ones too. Not liking how much pressure I'm seeing. I might have to go around and like shoot some pronghorn or shoot some bison or something to kind of reduce the amount of pressure. Because I definitely don't want to test out if they'll come back here. I don't want to push it. I've never deleted this zone before, so I don't know how they'll react. I don't know if they'll move to another area. I know, right? Reflex, the game had to show me we can still get low levels too. Yeah, let's go murder some bison real quick. We need to reduce a little bit of that pressure. Who knows? Maybe I'll, uh... Maybe I'll get a rare or diamond bison in the process. Oh, feels bad, Ender. Unfortunate, man. What time is bison drink time? Is it like 10? I think it's 10, right? It's 8? Okay, so we'll set it to like 9.19. And then we will go murderize all of them. Ha <laughs> ha I don't have regular binos on me, so I'm just gonna have to like jump and use the scope to like move while looking. Nice, Caitlin. You're getting all the giants today. Holy. There's some bison. Love to see it. Probably some over here as well. Hello, bison. There's one. There's a bunch. Okay. Yeah, let's go slaughter these over here. Okay, that should be at least a few dead bison. No, the bear spawns aren't acting up. We're reducing pressure because the lake that I've never deleted the zone from is getting built up in pressure. And I don't want to see what happens when that zone deletes, right? Because I don't know if it'll come back to the same place. The other lake will, but I don't know about that one. Nice, Dynamic. You got a great one, Whitetail. Let's freaking go, dude.
How do you have two 338? I don't. I have a 300 and a 338. This is the 300 Magnum. This is the 338. Come on, dead up there. Oh, yeah. Look at all that pressure. We'd love to see it. It's already cleared up half of that. Love to see it. It's a blade rack. Nice, nice. Love to see it, dude. Two more down. Three more down. Oh, man, we killed so many. We shot so many. Yeah, true dynamic. You could stack it if you want to shoot down a couple more spots. Because I'm pretty sure you said that you had a couple more you wanted to shoot down. So you could stack it for a little bit. But, I mean, I wouldn't blame you if you just want to shoot it. Because I know you were on a decently long grind. Pretty sure that you said you were on like a 3,000 kill grind at least. Maybe you said you were on 1.2. I can't remember. It was one or the other. I know that. Not sure, Reflex. No, Dome. We're just shooting some bison to reduce some pressure. Because my second lake's getting a lot of pressure. And I don't know how that one will react if I delete the zone. I know the other one's good whenever I delete it. But I don't know about the uh, mule deer outpost one. It's a slaughter. Hey, Schrader, you missed a super rare black bear. A diamond cinnamon. It was insane. Yeah, about 200 to 230. No, it wasn't blonde. It wasn't. We thought it was. It looked blonde at first, but yeah, it was a cinnamon, which I'm honestly more happy about. I like the cinnamon better. Even though it's not as rare, I love how it looks. It's so pretty. I guess we're even now. Yeah, dude, we freaking got it. Okay, we got most of that deleted or most of that hunting pressure gone. Oh, I forgot. Oh, <laughs> Oh, man. So many dead bison. <laughs> Holy. <laughs> yeah, Zachy. I know, right, bro? bro? It's crazy, isn't it? Wait, did you not know that I had a super rare bear? I said it twice today. And you, you're just now mentioning it? I said it twice while you were in here. <laughs> I know, right, JC? To be fair, this is my bear loadout. I like Call of the Wild better, uh, Smokey. They're both good games, but Call of the Wild just fits my style more. Where did that one go? Oh, well, there's one down here. You came in and then immediately had to leave? Got you. Yeah, we got a super rare bear like an hour and 20 minutes in. 
It was a diamond cinnamon scoring like 2321 or something. Just mind blowing insanity. I was so happy. <laughs> I was so freaking happy to see it. It was it was after such a weird chain of events as well. We had three of our five bears come back as like four and below one run. So I left them. And then the next run we had another come back as a low level. So I just decided to start rotating on just one single bear. So we kept rotating on that single bear. It kept respawning as like fives and sixes. And then eventually out of nowhere it respawned as a super rare. And then like for the next like 20 kills or so, we got a diamond every five kills on average. And then we went on like a 20 kill dry streak. So I shot a second bear and started rotating on two. And then we've had three level nines in like four runs. So like within seven bears, we had four or three level nines. It's been a day, man. It's been a day, a day and a half times 10. It's been crazy. Yeah, that can happen, Loxie. It likely died. They can die from a no organs hit. Three away from a hundred times on the grind. Jeez, Caitlin. Crazy. Oh, it's the cluster rack? Okay. Okay. Yeah, cluster and Kinsgo rack look very similar. That next shot. Let's go. Nice, Raider. Hopefully you get it, dude. Yeah, the three... Yeah, if it was 308, yeah, it probably did die. 308's a beast. It is a beast. Uh, because the level is fabled, but the metal is great one. Just like uh, when you spot a level 5 mule deer, it doesn't say 5 diamond. It just says, you know, 5 medium. The level and the metal are completely different things. Nothing there. Let's check over here. Is that because of control? But still, I'm just saying like metal and level are completely separate. We got a three here. Wait, what? What the? They're all here now. Uh, 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 um, excuse me. <laughs> the three and the four moved here. What? I've never seen that happen. Did hunting the, uh, the bison and like reducing pressure like move them they're all here now what the i am so confused they all moved over here 
Like, what? That's so strange. Hey, I'll take it, though. I'd rather they be here than at the other zone. That is so crazy. I've never seen that happen when they're in, like, an established zone. I love bears being bears. I know, right? It's unexplainable. Bears are the one species in the game where I cannot explain why they work the way they do. They just do. Bears do the weirdest things I've ever seen. Among any species. But they're definitely the same bears. Because it was indeed a three and a four that were at the other zone. Just accept and adapt with bears, pretty much. Nothing else we can do. I mean, I'd, I'd rather have them here, so I'm happy, but it's just so weird. Now, let's hope the respawns go to the other lake. Yeah, it was just wild. Uh, no great ones yet, man. Let me guess, Zaki, the, uh, the solution is that I need to get good. How many kills? 830. Ah, I called it. I called it. Told you. I called it. Got a six there. And a seven there. Hey, if they do this, this is perfect. This is perfect if these two just come over here from now on. Twenty forty two. Ah, we messed up on that second bear. He died though. Eventually. I think it's just you, Drake. I would recommend refreshing the page. Usually that's the problem whenever it does that. Yeah, non-vital organ. Holy. Ah, uh, yes, I have, uh, I have messed up one great one. I have messed up one in the past. Have you got the great one bear? Sadly, no bears today. No great one bears, at least. We did manage to uh, seal the deal on a super rare bear, though. That was pretty awesome. Yeah, I bet they're over here. I bet they're over there. What was it? It was a cinnamon bear. Nothing here either, eh? What the? That was weird. Call of the Wild's being weird today. Hey, Lee's fan, how's it going? I 
How did Brober and I meet? We met because he joined my ARC server. He joined my ARC server, and at some point down the line, a couple weeks after he jumped in there, him and his buddy were asking for help. And uh, Caitlin and Holocrow were tribing together at the time, and so they they went over and helped them out. And then they started playing with Brober a little bit more. And one day, like, I was going to jump on and play Ark with uh, my wife, Hollow, and Caitlyn. And Hollow and Caitlyn were like, okay, but you got to play with Brober too, because we've been uh, playing with him. So you got to jump in with him as well. And so that's how I met Brobra. Because until then, he had just been in the chat every once in a while, watching the streams and things. Hey, Brayden, how's it going, dude? Yeah, the bears can be pretty fun. They can be pretty fun. When they're uh, when they're cooperating, they're pretty fun. But when they're being weird, then not as much. Nice reflex. Oh, there is blue. I changed them around a little bit. I figured, you know, like, um, excessive capitalization, that's already covered by no spamming. So I removed that from the line because no spamming is the same thing. And then I added the don't discuss cheats or glitches because we don't want to promote people, like, cheating in the game. So yes, you are correct. We did uh, change it around a little bit. Boom. I mean, that's what the emotes are for, JC. That's what the emotes are for. Yeah, true, Anthony. They do look pretty cool when they do that. You know, it would be pretty cool to actually uh, get a Great One Bear when he's in his rest zone just because of that animation. Like, just have him doing that. Like, uh, I've hunted one from its re rest zone before. Or no, it was a feed zone. I hunted it from a feed zone. Yeah, sounds about right, Rocky. Just how it is, right? You can't please everybody. Some people will just never be happy with certain games. Just like I could never main the Hunter Classic on the channel, it's just not as much towards my style. Level 6, beautiful. Probably Mr. Call of the Wild, that'd be my luck.
Hey, TJF. Oh, you know, just shooting the bears repeatedly in hopes a great one will spawn. We did get a super rare today, though, so we didn't go home empty-handed. We at least have a completed multi-mount for the bears. How many kills? 836. Because he built his channel off of uh, Call of the Wild, Zachy. He, he can't just stop playing Call of the Wild Cold Turkey. That would be essentially like taking like a full-on pay cut. Because like, obviously he's got to think of his, uh, like his livelihood as well. You can't just stop playing something because you've uh, started to like not enjoy it as much. You got to slowly transition out of it, find something else that your audience wants to watch. It's not as easy as just stopping playing a game because you're not enjoying it anymore. When you're a content creator, like, like you rely on content creation to like pay for your rent and stuff like that. So, you know, switching games, that's a pretty big deal. Like it, it takes away a lot of the viewers that were there with you for a specific video game. So, it doesn't matter who you are, really. You can't just stop playing the game that you built your entire audience off of, right? Which is why, you know, I don't think he'll ever just stop playing it just because he's not enjoying it as much as he used to. Just like, right now, if, if, I, if I, like, one day just came out and said, I'm not playing Call of the Wild anymore, I'm going to be an, an angler-only YouTuber. I'd be... I'd probably lose like 50% of my monthly revenue and that would make it so I'd have to cut costs in my life, you know, I'd probably have to downgrade a lot of things. I wouldn't be able to, you know, support my family to the extent that I do right now, etc. You know, luckily I love what I do and I absolutely love the Hunter Call of the Wild. And so for me, it's not a problem, but yeah, I could see like if you get to a point where you're not enjoying something and you have to make the decision of either continuing to play something you don't enjoy or like having to make a ton of cuts in your IRL life, I could see that being a tough thing, man. I could see that being a very tough situation. Oh, unfortunate, Mr. Call of the Wild. <laughs> That's honestly why a lot of content creators don't like to box themselves into one game. That's why there's a lot of creators that try to, like, do variety stuff from the very beginning. Uh, that way they can afford to, like, switch games. Like, you see Fooster. Fooster does a crap load of different games. And his audience loves it no matter what because they're there for his style. But if you build your entire channel off of one game, like myself, or Flinter, or Clinton, or... Uh, anybody else that does just call the wild if you build yourself off of your channel off of one game you stop playing that game probably like 70% of your audience is gonna stop watching you that is a tough spot to be in which is why a lot of people try not to box themselves in from the very beginning but like I wanted to be a call the wild channel from the beginning this was the one game that I could see myself playing repeatedly without getting really tired of it you know which is why I chose it when deciding to make my YouTube channel. Or I guess when I decided to start being more consistent in uploading on my channel. I decided to go with Call of the Wild because it was the one game where I looked at it and I was like, I could play this game over and over again and not get bored of it. Because there's so many different trophies, there's so many different animals, maps, guns. The entertainment level is very, very high. Like replayability is super high with Call of the Wild. Three, four, four. Probably one more over there. Yeah, Didi as well. Didi does primarily hunting games. Legendary. Let's go! Legendary. 
Let's freaking go. Jaden, thank you for the three months. Really appreciate it. Hope you're doing amazing. It's a diamond. Wow, it's barely a diamond. Holy. He barely made it. Later, J6. Yeah, true reflex, but the unfortunate thing about YouTube is if you have a video that performs badly, uh, there's a high chance that your next video will not get recommended to as many people. It's unfortunate. YouTube's not very rewarding for like mid-sized to small creators. It can be tough trying to like post other stuff. That's why I've got a second channel. That's why I've got a second YouTube channel so that I can like play games like Sea of Thieves and like Tarkov if I want without like affecting my main channel. Uh, Sigma Bateman, thank you so much for the suit or the uh, membership. Used to be seven month member until I got a new card, so I'm starting over. Well, welcome back, man. Welcome back. And TJF, thank you for the four months, dude. Let's get that 10 fabled. Let's go. Heck yeah. Let's freaking get it. When do the bears drink? The bears drink from 20 to 0. A 3 and a 9. We got another legendary. Dude, this grind's getting insanity. Or getting insane, reaching new levels of insanity. I'm not going to shoot that three because I don't actually know if it's the same three that we already have or if that's a new three. I'm going to verify first because we saw the bears swap zones already once today. Oh, it's max. Let's go. It's freaking max. First max score of the day, third max weight of the day. Dude, the herd management is just exploding right now. Like, our herd management is at the highest it's ever been. This is actually crazy. Well, I told you guys I would tax any max scores, so we'll tax him. Boom. Yeah, Blakester, we only have one great one bear. I have had absurd luck with diamonds, and then we also got a super rare today, but I have not got another great one. Let's see the latest harvest. Oh, you love seeing back-to-back -back diamonds, man. Oh, you love seeing it. And then we got all these bison mixed in, so that kind of throws off, like, the... Giving us an actual, like, good picture of what we've got in the last 20. What do you mean, uh, CL Smith? Why do I get max weight level 7? Are you talking like max weight or max weight estimate? Because max weight estimate level 7s are a thing. Oh, that is a new 3. That's a new 3 that we've got at the other lake. Let's just rotate on this singular level 9 respawn. Let's try that. Oh, you meant max weight estimate. Yeah, those are a thing. Level 7 max weight estimates are a thing. I see quite a few of those. What's the best thing to hunt for money? Right now, there's a couple options. If you don't want to set up a full grind, go to the, like, top right area on Emerald Coast. Go to the Sanctuary Outpost. It's like top middle outpost. And then, after you go up there, just run from the Sanctuary Outpost to the top right corner of the map. 
running along the top side, like the north side of the river. You will run into so many Rusa and Sambar and Hog Deer and stuff like that. And Rusa Deer give like 1500 plus cash per male. And that's for the level fours. And there is so many level fours. It is incredible money. Another option is running the coast for crocodiles. Crocodiles are pretty insane for money also. I would check out my no deal my no DLC playthrough, uh, Jordan. Check out the no DLC playthrough that I've done. Um, I've done a couple episodes where I was earning money. Biggest thing is just go into multiplayer on Emerald Coast and do exactly what I just mentioned because you can play multiplayer without owning the map. As long as you have access to like online play. You can play uh, multiplayer and play all the other maps for free. Oh, we just haven't got around to it, Rocky. I've been in my like great one grinding kick recently. We kind of bounce between grinds. Like when one starts to get repetitive, I go to another one. And yeah, I just needed a break from Bantang. So here we are. Nice, little red. That's awesome. There's our other bear zone. Ah, small male. Kill the three. I don't think I'll kill the three because... That's going to be great for our HM. Yeah, it happens, Jaden. I've had a 2,000 uh, kill one. To be fair, Lil Red, he just, uh, he just talks like most adults around his age do. I mean, I'm the same off stream. Uh, most content creators just uh, don't cuss on YouTube that much because YouTube has some very, like, convoluted policies on language. Like, one day they'll say it's okay to say this. The next day they'll say it's not okay to say this. Like, their policies have changed on language so many times throughout the last couple years that most people just don't want to take the risk because you, you don't know when, like, YouTube could just... Do a complete 180 on their guidelines and then go strike down a bunch of your old videos. So yeah, like for a lot of people, they just don't want to risk it, including myself. He keeps respawning here. <laughs> All my main lakes are respawning as low-level red deer, but all my exterior lakes are shot down to three fours. Do you know why I'm not getting big spawns in the main zone? It could mean that you have something big on the map driving the score down. Or it could just be that you're going on like a bad luck streak. I have that happen every once in a while as well. I think what we'll do is shoot one of these fours instead. Yeah, Jaden, we are herd managing. We've been herd managing bears for like the last five or six thousand kills. There's one of the fours. There, we'll kill that four and then leave that new three that had popped up.
Welcome back, Blueberry. Not sure, Brayden. I'm going to try to make it a bear, but if it's a moose, then it is what it is. Yeah, we do herd manage. What fur do I want for the bear? I like Fabled Chestnut. We will see what we get, though. Oh, always, Zacky. Always. That's why we're switching it up and trying some weird stuff with ours. Yes, this is the 338. Alright guys, I think that's going to be it for me. I need a break from shooting bears, so... We're going to go ahead and end the stream there. I appreciate you all being here, though. This was a fun stream. We got our first ever super rare bear, as well as a ton of diamonds. So, till the next one. Thank you all for being here, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace!